The boys are back, Knock Off Nation. Regulars, Briss, Danny and Chris checking in for this edition, episode 35. Brought to you again by Stonehand Cold Press, the uh, podcast liquid What's up, here. Jakey? We get uh, gave him a shout out last time. We're still here drinking it. It's that little little lethal Friday night cocktail of a little bit of booze and a little bit of the cold press coffee. Yeah, I got that a little bit. Of, I got a little bit of the captains with it tonight. It's probably not as tasty with the booze in it, but uh, but it's serving a purpose. So. Here we go. We've got a uh, massive weekend of mixed martial arts on the horizon. We've brought a mixed martial artist from the Gold Coast has joined us tonight. Our guest is uh, amateur mixed martial artist, one of the brightest prospects at bantamweight. In the country at the minute, Sean Johnson. Welcome, my friend. What's going, up, buddy? <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thanks hey, for coming. It's going to be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it, man. Just having a yarn. And yeah. We were cool. just we were just talking about before the podcast that um, that you're originally from WA. Did you say? Yeah, man. Yeah. Where, whereabouts in WA are you from? I was born in a town called Northern Man, which is um like out west. And then when I was about five, moved into Mandra, which is on the coast. And right, how far up? How spot. far up is that? Um, is that down near Perth? Yeah, it's about an hour south of Perth. So, yeah, it's just on the coast. Pretty much where I'm at in the Gold Coast. Go fucking diagonal back down the country right. on the other side. On man, the beach? It. Yeah, on the beach, yeah. Oh. yeah. Beautiful yeah. spot. My um, missus is from WA and uh, dad lives at Hall's Head. Well, dude, in, that's uh, like, that was my hood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Se- yeah seriously, yeah. like, oh, unbelievable cool spot, man. Yeah, yeah man, small world, cool. though. That, that's sort of yeah. six degrees of separation shit, but that, yeah, that's fine. unreal. I've never been to WA. Man, what's your color. missus name? Uh, Casey. Casey who? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you off air. My boys would all hit that, man. Like, oh, oh, that one? That Casey? Oh, shit, That's really funny. That's cool, man. It's like you said, six degrees of separation. That's it. There you go. Mandra. WA is a crazy big state. Well, we've got it up on the screen at the moment. And all the way, you know, like if you consider the entire east coast of Australia top to bottom... Is one state like what is that? So that's five hundred kilometers to about a centimeter. So Oof, such a long look way. At, yeah. Look at that in comparison to the states, man. And how many like, people? If you were even going to drive from like states. Mandura to like Karatha or something oh, like that, how many how many hours would you be looking at? I don't know if I got idea. No idea. But, well, yeah, eighteen like, or something. Yeah, like, I worked maybe. in the mines or something for a bit when I was like eighteen. I think I'd done like two or three stints drilling. We were yeah. like sleeping in swags under the stars, dude. Right. True. And I drove a big truck. Like probably for about seven hours all day and knocked off a carton of piss while I was driving it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is like, I'm not, no, sorry, I know you're a work health and safety dude. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> man, mate, no, oh, it oh, literally that... didn't exist back then. Or no, I was in and some in some places yeah. it doesn't. I was in like a cowboy company or something like that, man. Yeah. I don't really know what was going on, but now I realise that it wasn't right what we were doing. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> mate, I used yeah, yeah. to, I won't name the name yeah. of the company, but like w- when I started out in health and safety, I used to work for a company that that um, same sort of thing, like the the, oper- the operator had real dodgy history with the, the like e- EPA and like for flushing sulfactants down drains <laughs> and like burying sure. oil and, hey. you know, just got the guys doing real reckless stuff, wouldn't like service any of the trucks. There and, would still be know. so much of that going on in the world though. Like yeah. we live in obviously like a, a first world country, like where those measures are strict and shit like that but imagine like all the construction that's constantly going on in southeast asia and stuff like that there'd be no like yeah know, no, can't can't pull no that bloody into hard the hats and, and yeah, stuff hard like hats that. and yeah. hobbies there yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that shit, so yeah. how, did, how did you end up over this way bro uh dude i just fucking i'll just get you a bit closer on that mic yeah. there brother thanks um man. i grew up yeah in the same town pretty much for 25 years or 20 years or something like that and just you know everyone and i was just a dickhead man i was Done the same thing as a lot of people do, you know. I just stopped playing footy when I was 16. I hit my leg and then ended up going hard on the drugs, man. Drugs yeah. And alcohol. Yeah. It's a slippery slope, eh? It's damn. Yeah, it, it's a tricky yeah, spot. That's yeah, I got caught up and, um, yeah, I went to jail, man, when I was probably like between 18 and 24. Yeah. Spent a few years in and out of jail, done enough shit, come out, just got involved in drugs again, man. And then it's Bar- like, yeah, yeah. I was got to about 25. And she hit the fan. I was either going to end up dead, man, in jail for the rest of my life or killing someone else, you know. Yeah. And so I just was like, fucking, I had a chick, just met a chick. I've been with her for probably three or four months. Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> Come over here, man, with two suitcases and like a couple of grand or whatever. Start afresh. Yeah, like, start afresh. Yeah, start afresh, man. And, um, yeah. 
And yeah, we're, and that was 2013. I got here in like May or something. Straight, shit, straight to the shit. Gold Coast. Yeah, man. Stayed at Beachcombers Resort, oh, run the bare surfers, dude, for like yeah. a few months and shit. Yeah, like, man, like, like the Gold Coast. Yeah, man, love it. Gold yeah, Coast yeah, is yeah. good. Built a life here. It's real cool. cool. It was hell weird, man, because I like grew up. I remember one thing from school, man, was on the map of Australia. Like I would draw the map of Australia, and I'd always be like Surfers Paradise, and like draw like fucking barrels of waves and like palm mm. trees, and I'll, I just remember that. True, it was like an exotic thing. that'd be a thing. fucking sick place to live, yeah. man. And like, I'd been here a few times on holidays and stuff like that when I was probably like 19, 20. And um, spent like a New Year's here and shit like that. And I've sort of, that's when I was still like drinking and stuff like that. So I was partying here, you know, and I was like, fell in love with it. And I just thought, fuck it. And w- when did, when did yeah. MMA come into the mix? Um, I moved here 2013, May. And a mate of mine from home, Martin Dodd, he was a boxer. And in, like, 1994, he fought a guy in Kalgoorlie who was from Queensland, Ricky Budgeon, who's my coach now. And Marty knew I moved over here and he rang me and he said, I always talked about fighting and shit like that, you know, and I was like, I wanted to do it and seen, like, that Stephen Bonner and yeah. Boris Griffin fight. That was the one I seen it and I was like... I could do that shit. Like, I reckon I could do that. Did you get, yeah. a, get in lots of fights as a young, young oh, fuck buck? Yeah, heaps. Dude, yeah. yeah, heaps. Yeah. Man. That's what I got locked up for. Like, was, um, yeah. yeah, belting cops and bouncers, man. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. It was yeah. like, you know, but yeah, I was just in nightclubs on the piss, just done stupid shit. And, mm. you know, but, mm. um, Is it difficult? Is it difficult, especially like now that you even have like really honed that martial art and that like that skill base to demolish the average Joe out in the street, is it easier to keep you calm than it used to be? Oh, fuck you, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I just, like, look at people and they just don't fuck with me. Yeah. (laughs) Like, like, you know, like, I just don't – I don't – but I don't get in those situations as well. Like, people that are being aggro or even – I don't know. No one's been – one guy at the markets. I take my daughter to the markets every Sunday. Have done for – Which 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 um, market? The – Bundle farmers markets. We go to like the farmers markets and do the veggie shopping. I've been you know? to that market. It's nice. And this dude, fucking, this old guy, jumped in front of the pram because she was sitting there screaming and like just going off being a little shit. And um, he jumped in front of the pram and he sort of tried to jump over it and he like tripped over it and he's like, oh, I've just had a hip replacement. And he's like, yo, I was like, just don't try and jump over the pram. And he's like, just shut your fucking kid up. And I was like, oh, yeah. that's the one time, dude. I was just like, I balked him and then. He sort of almost fell over and shit, and his wife all apologised and that. But that's the only time that <laughs> oh. I've lost my cool dude yeah, in fucking yeah. four years, you know? Yeah, yep. Yeah. In four years since I've moved over here. So and so you just sort of like shaped training. up. You didn't even need to like. No, I just like pretended like yeah. slap him, you know? But any yeah. fucking like, I seen the fear of God, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, but it made me real. I can't do that shit in it's, front of my yeah, kids, man. I can't yeah. do that shit to, even if my kids, <laughs> if they're not looking, I can do it. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I, I <laughs> no, think, but, you know, it's I know like, I can't do that stuff. But I, martial art, yeah, I'm calm, dude. Yeah. You know? And isn't it funny too? That there's there's a, a real understanding that someone gets that you didn't even have to hit the guy, but just obviously how you've shaped up and how you've positioned your body and how yeah. you've the position you've gotten yourself into and the mental focus. They're like, oh shit, yeah. like something. Yeah, this guy can yeah. know what the fuck he's doing here. You know? Yeah, that's it. I'm just here getting some bananas. Sunday morning, I'm not fine uh, yet. The bloody market. Nah. <laughs> You know, like, I don't want my daughter to remember that. Like, yeah. well, she's like two and a half years old. Her earliest exactly. memories of dad getting the fight with the mom, dude. No, yeah. but no. Yeah, no, I, I don't I, get I angry, hear. dude. I don't get in those situations anymore. I just avoid them. Like, I see it. I can read it. I just, sometimes we're walking through the street and there's like, you know, I live sort of Ashmore, Southport and shit like that. Mm. You know, some fucking pretty gnarly shit happens as you walk down the street there with your family. And like, my missus is like, oh, I said, don't worry, we'll be fine. Like, you know, because I just know that I just, I don't even have to do anything, you know. You just, I think it comes off you. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you know, but, for sure. But I, that's not what I don't, I don't like it when people look at me like that as well because I look a bit fucking, you know, I've got tattoos on my neck and yeah. shit like that. But um, my missus so. calls it the crazy eyes. She's like, <laughs> I'm walking around holding yeah. my baby and she's like, you look like you want to eat someone. So it like, like so you're holding your baby. I don't mean to look like that, but it comes out a lot, you know. And yeah. I just don't really, yeah. yeah. I so think that's what's interesting about martial arts is that it, it seems to anyway, and this is this is coming from a total, you know, armchair critic, somebody who's never never trained in their life. Um, but it seems like, you know, as human beings, and especially in sort of like society, and and when we deal with like you know different pressures and everything like that, anger, and especially for men, is a fucking real emotion that you feel on a regular basis. And if you don't have some sort of outlet for it, then it's for just women like as it's well. It's, 
for women as well, of Jeez, course. Yeah, but I think crazy chicks. Uh, definitely, but I think you know. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. I think yeah. like uh, you know, by definition, hormonally and biologically and stuff like that, testosterone and males are more. You know, they do tend more towards aggression and anger and things like that. And it seems, you know, martial arts gives gives you a structure to sort of hone that aggression into and then it, it ultimately turns you into a calmer person where you know you you realize that you know you don't need to prove yourself to the guy at the and at the markets and shit like yeah, that yeah, because yeah. you you know yeah. you could handle yourself in that situation you're like yeah. i could beat the fuck out of this guy but mm. i choose not to because you know yeah fighting's not like that for me now it's like it's like a sport you know? exactly like, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. i just it's disrespectful man if i if i literally if i ever punch someone in the street again it's really Disrespectful because, to martial yeah. arts, man. Yeah, like you know, true. I'm not like the full on like I love martial arts, all that. I like fucking fighting, dude. That's mm. me, you know. Like I'm not a, I want to be in that side of it, and I will be eventually. I do yep. appreciate it, man. But for me, like a fucking fight to fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What, what makes punch? martial arts is, yeah, is you that know? you know, it's it not is, yeah. pure martial arts yeah. to a lot of yeah. people. I want to be know? a martial artist and mixed martial arts. I'm just, I, I, I believe I was born a fighter, and I am a fighter, but I'm. Be- I'm learning martial arts. I think yeah. that's a good way. I can't remember. I think of Robbie, oh, shit, Robbie yeah. Lawler, I think I said it. And I was like, motherfucker, that's true, me. You know? true. Like, so, oh, yeah. And that's well, me, man. Well, but that's, yeah. yeah, speaking yeah. of Robbie Lawler, I mean, you do have like quite an aggressive, like we've watched a, a few of your YouTube uh, eternal fights and it, it's quite a fucking yeah. aggressive stand up oh, style. That you, yeah, <laughs> yeah got, not, like, not boring yeah, fights, man. No. At all. <laughs> <laughs> At all. Yeah, I like that. Real that's good. Cool. That's, Real that's good. cool to hear from guys like, yeah. like yeah. Your, your that's explanation it. of the way you sort of like think of it is like, you know, yeah, exemplified just, in your yeah. performance, basically. And yeah, yeah. just got to go, man. Just go. I'm, go, I'm go, interested, right. man, like, because <laughs> what, what was your first martial art that you transitioned into? Or was it straight into like an MMA gym? No, straight out. I got out of jail in 2010. Um, went and started just signed up at a Muay Thai gym. Pretty much the Muay second Thai, day. Second day yeah. I got out of jail. Yeah. Just a little bit of Muay Thai, you know. But I grew up watching boxing and just banging it out in the streets, man. Like we, I grew up like we just used to punch on like in a in our neighbourhood, like down at the bike track, like fucking everywhere, man. Like it was just you just fight. It was what you done. I had two younger brothers and an older sister. Was it a rough? Fight, na- fight with them. Was yeah, it a rough you know? neighbourhood that you grew up in? Sort of, yeah. I don't know. It's how weird it was, but it wasn't. Like yeah. it was fucking early you would 90s, seek it the early out? 90s and shit, dude. Yeah, fuck, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, yeah, my I guess mum if you was look like, for anything, my dad worked away. My mum looked after us. We, had, it was, I think, it was four of us under six, you know. And like she, <laughs> it was a pretty much. She was working. We'd go over, stay at friends' houses, and just be. Like, I was eight years old, man, smoking weed, <laughs> you know, like wow. doing shit like that, and that's yeah, early. but not constantly in that, but you know, like, and then it just. By like, it was nothing to do with like my mum not being there at all. You know, it was just like we found ways to do it. We snuck out. So we done that shit. Yeah. Where'd you Where'd you get the weed from at eight? You got I it from brothers just and with friends. An older mate, yeah, 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 older mates. Yeah, older mates yeah. is how you get into yeah. it when yeah, you're man. when you're young. Eh? Like some fifteen year old there, yeah. like oh, I've got some of this leaf here. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, try like, that. That. I'll try yeah. that. I'll try that. First time, uh, <laughs> first time we ever smoked grip. A lot of us was. Uh, it's out of Bucketies at like 13 too. <laughs> yeah. what, what an induction. <laughs> yeah, what, what an induction <laughs> that was, man. Jesus They're brutal. Christ. First hooter yeah. we ever smoked. Like, yeah, come uh, come hit this. And I remember uh, a buddy of ours had just gone to Tasmania and like Danny and I we tried it and then tried it for three days straight, basically. <laughs> 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 we come around again, there's some left. Like, fuck, yeah. Like, but um, a buddy of ours came back from Tasmania and he'd, he came back all macho man because he fucked this chick in the back of a car down there. So he comes back going, Wait, boys, guess what? Fuck it. I had sex. And we're like, <laughs> yeah, well, we smoke weed now, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> straight up, man. And he's like, what? He's like, blowing it. He's, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. he's like, yeah, he's like, holy shit. Like, what, man? Like, you, are you guys sure? <laughs> you? Like, like the, nec- the next morning he's there hitting it. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, like where's, it. let's eat some toast. Uh, <laughs> and, your, and your life is never the same. Yeah. <laughs> For the better. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's, it was a tough neighbourhood, man. Yeah, Muay Thai, started at Muay Thai, done that sort of, never in, never fought over there. I only just dibbled and dabbled for a little bit in years and then I was, yeah, not even that long, man. Probably, I, was, I don't know, not even a year sort of thing, solid. Not even solid, <laughs> on and off. And then like, the drugs come back into it again. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but um, then over here, like I was saying, my mate Marty, he fought Ricky. Budgeon, like, in 94, and he rang me and said, oh, you're living on the Gold Coast and you, you want to fight, don't you? I said, yeah, because I always, back there, I was used to be up all, like, just talking to my mate, so I'm going to 
go to the. I'm fucking. Yeah. I'm out. I'm, I'm, moving, I'm going to Queensland. I'm fucking out. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna start fighting. My mates be like, yeah, whatever, mate. You're cooked. You know. <laughs> Just for, yeah, yeah and I fucking yeah done it, man. And then he told me. He said, oh, go to this gym, Empire Martial Arts. So I rang it up and said to Ricky, I said, oh, Marty. So I, you know, he remembered him sort of thing. <laughs> he doesn't remember much, but he remembers that. Um, <laughs> that he fought him, and yeah, he said, come down. And I was in surfers, man, and the gym's in Upper Coomera. And I was like, fucking, I'd sussed it all out to get the bus and shit like that. I had, to get, I had no car and stuff here then, man. Like, I've probably been here for two weeks. And then um, had to catch the bus at like six in the morning. To, had a Wednesday morning class or something like that. And I was like, fuck it. To get out there for a 9.30 class or something like that, I had to... <laughs> had to Leave at surfers at like 6.30 and shit And I was like fuck I missed the first bus dude And never fucking went And he rang me and he's like He's like oh you're going to make it I said man I fucked up the buses And he goes oh well, You know what like I'm seeing as you're stuck in surfers Like um You're probably better to go see Another guy at Matrix Boxing Gym Like it's closer for you you know Since Southport yeah, yeah. So I went there and then um like, actually, in the meantime, I got sick. I had my gallbladder explode, so I, was, I didn't ring him for Shit, three months. So really? after three months, I rang him, and then he said that. He said, go to the Matrix gym or whatever, you know, and I went down there, and then I seen some video, man, um, with Jules the Jackal. And I just yeah. seen the video in the background. I said, Empire. And I was like, oh, that's that fucking gym I was meant to go train at, you know? And I was like, oh. I went out there and just fucking never left, man. Went yeah. out there on a Wednesday morning again and, you know, I haven't left, dude. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Literally, I haven't fucking left. I'm living with him and shit now, man. He's, <laughs> he's the yeah. godfather to my I youngest daughter. True. I, I true. love yeah, that dude. commitment, man. I yeah. love that commitment to, like, uh, you know, just s- changing your life for the better. Yeah, and, man. You know, it's good. And, and like, yeah. channeling yourself yeah, into man. something. That, that's yeah. dope, bro. When I went there, man, my missus was three months pregnant with my first daughter. Yeah. You know, so fucking we started from there and... I just said to him, I want to box. I said, I just want to box, man. And fucking been training there, just going to boxing on and off sort of thing. And he's just like keeping tabs. And then then um, he got me doing a little bit of wrestling with a guy, one of the guys that was having a fight. And he goes, oh, yeah. And then I remember my mate, one of the teammates, Vish, Vish Naidu, Vishal, he was fighting on one of the Eternals at Cool and Gatta, I think one of the early ones or whatever. He fought Jacob Suka. And I remember it clear as day, man, because he went there and we I helped set up the cage because Ricky sets up the cage for the things and that. And... um. Yeah, I was watching it and I just felt it all. And like, Reese, I think Reese McLaren fought, who did he fight that night? Shantaram Maharaj, you know, I've seen them. I think, yeah, and I was just like, all right, sweet. I'm pretty sure that was the same night anyway. And I was like, I said to him, I was like, fuck, I want to do this shit. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And he's like, you're fucking born for this, you know? And I'm no. like, sweet. Because I sort of been waiting for you to say it, you know? And, Dude, it's fucking cool, eh? I Absolutely, it, it looks. It's, it, it, it's for a spectator. It, it's it, we were just talking yeah. about before the podcast that it's personally ruined football for me. Yeah, you know, yeah. I used yeah. to be a real football fan and used to love watching the rugby league and all that sort of stuff. And and to this this sort of day, I still enjoy sort of watching Origin and you know Grand Finals and you know things like that. But outside of that, man, it's just too slow moving for me now. Yeah, yeah. you know, I'd, I'd much prefer to watch something that you know was more dynamic and, yeah, and had more sure. action. And Dude, it's fucking. You can go deep on it too. Like, yeah. You know, sometimes I'll do what I sit there and just study it, and watch fighters, and just so, like write shit down. You know, and I'm like, I gotta fucking remember that. Gotta remember yeah, that. Gotta do that. Gotta yeah. do that. You know. But yeah, it's cool, man. There's so much you can do and be good at it. And I'm, yeah, it's been lucky. I've got good training partners. You know, I've been. And when when yeah. you when you're in like a fight camp, when you're preparing for for one of those fights, is that typically like the eight weeks for you, or is it how long is it? I'm always training, man. Always yeah, training. Always training. Yeah. You know, like fucking stay ready, stay ready, stay ready, so you don't have ready. to get ready. Sort of not thing. Not fully. Not no. I'm never fully ready. I'm a big boy. You know, like I walk around probably like 70, 72, 73, yeah. You know, yeah. And I had a fight at sixty one, sixty two. <laughs> so, um. Takes yeah, a while, and plus so. I like the time. I, I like the, I don't I don't want to take a fight and on two weeks' notice. Be not ready. You know, it's a big thing for me, man. Like, is that the all the notice focus? you get? No, nah, like you, people do. You know, like yeah. I don't oh, want to do that. Yeah, you know? yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I want to know. Yeah, we yeah. build yeah. into it. You know, like I've done a few fight camps now, and it's you learn everyone. You get better with everyone. But yeah, no. yeah always training between and stuff like that. And um, yeah, like preferably me nine ten weeks. Like, Nine, so ten, then you yeah. do like eight weeks solid, you know, mm. and like you obviously got your last week where you taper or whatever. And, and so like is that. there a, is there a, a week period? I mean, you'd be doing skill work throughout the whole thing, obviously. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah so, it, but th- is there like components where this like two we- weeks or whatever you do strength training, and this one you you build your cardio as you do you periodize in, or is it ah, just a case of yeah, yeah exactly. You practice, yeah. you fight, and you fucking fight. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you're like you do 
these you do your sprints. You got to do your recovery. You got to do like you know yeah. we're getting better at each thing and we're figuring out stuff like because your cardio. We just got to tick all the boxes, dude. You just got to tick the boxes. Because your cardio seems insane. To to be honest, man, like you, when you watch those fights. You know, you don't slow down, nah, and you know, like you only, I mean, you only got a little fifteen minutes. So you can yeah, go 15, you can go yeah. Take, I don't know. So you've obviously got a real. Are they, um, real good are they three minute rounds in eternal, or are they five? Yeah, they're only, I've only been fun threes, man. True, so, yeah, true. But yeah. like I've always worked. I want to go 15. Yeah. I want to fight 25. I want to fight five fives, man. I, want yeah. if you, I think if you fight five fives, you go to like a superhuman level. Like you're better yeah. than every other kind of athlete. Oh, you know, dude, like, no. oh, I yeah. think you're like, that's me personally. Do you do you know, like, like in yeah. your training, do you do like mock fights where you'll go like at, at you know, fight percentage for a full 25 minutes with, with little breaks or do you always sort of train it in a, in a sort of non-direct way? Nah, you don't ever go 100%. You go hard, dude. We go hard. But I don't like mean as you in don't, like, not um, every you know, night, you not know, like going to knock somebody out, but sort of like do, doing the same level of output in terms of grappling and fucking that sort of stuff. Oh, like, you get more tired in training than you do in a fight. True. Yeah, true. fucking nice. You feel it more like, because you just go into that zone. Like, yeah, you push to train. Yeah, you just got to get, Cause you just got to get uncomfortable. You, see, you got to, yeah. like in your training, you have to get uncomfortable and you have to fucking answer those questions there, man. Mm. Like you have to be like, yeah. You, if you don't, if you do a fight camp and you don't have one moment and you go fuck, I want to quit. No, <laughs> you can't. You can't. Don't fucking quit. No, if you don't have that, you're not doing it right, man. You have to mm. fucking get that state and you fight that battle and it's cool. I fucking love it. What a what a what a sick. Excellent explanation of that mindset, man. You know, yeah, like just that might yeah. be a oh, it took me a while soundbite was, right there, yeah. It took me a while to fucking <laughs> to figure it out, you know. But someone said, I think Reese McLaren, fucking, they shark tanked me for like. 50, 40 minutes or something straight one night, man. <laughs> so and what's it, what's Shark yeah. Tank? That's where you have like multiple... Multiple opponents, man, start in bad positions and shit like that and rah, rah, Like just wrestling and just constant like... Uh. You know? Right, so explain that for, for our sort of like uh, non-MMA listeners. You're basically in a cage and you're going for how, how many minutes in total with, without a rest? Oh, uh, fuck. You don't, no, not the full 40 minutes. You're just doing like 40 minute, like say if you do a five minute round, then like... a one minute break or something like bang, yeah. but you're getting a fresh opponent. But you're you're uh, yeah. staying in, and then yeah, you're and then getting, getting a fresh one every guys minute. Guys to come in and, yeah, and fight you with like fresh, like, yeah. fresh legs every yeah. time. Fresh yeah. legs and someone time. as high caliber as Reese McLaren coming in after a break <laughs> each time. That yeah, must yeah. be yeah. tough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, I don't cop him like that every fucking week, you know, which yeah. is good. But when yeah, it, I've, I felt it a lot, you know, and it's good. I love it, man. He's oh, a fucking yeah. animal, dude. Most definitely too. Someone. Yeah, I've been so lucky, man, to have. Guys like him and Timmy Moore and stuff like that to work with, you know, like lighter guys like Shannon McClellan, fucking the guy, all the guys down at Puma, like they have helped us so much. And my coach and we, I got really good training partners. Like Alex Platzi, he's a fucking flyweight dude. He's an animal. Like, yeah. He's a yeah. fucking animal, man. Yeah. Like, right. yeah, he's like I got five or six kilos on him, and he's just I have to work and I have to work. Like you know, it's Ooh. good fun. And yeah, I got we got there's another good guy Cody Hare with us now as well. He's really good. We got yeah, like Nick Grant. Mad grappler, you know, Vish is a little animal who get on your back and knee you in the chest and like, you know, like knee ride you and shit like that, you know, it's it's good fun. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and man, you'd, like, you'd need that art iron to sh- sharpen iron, I suppose, as they say. Yeah, you'd want, you'd yeah. want to be around high, oh, higher calibre people, it, you know, yeah. like. Yeah. Oh, to be a fly on the wall at AKA in this camp, you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Imagine mm. just being in the background, just sitting there by yourself, being able to watch DC get. Shark tanks by like rock old Kane Velasquez and shit like that. That would be yeah. so awesome to watch. <laughs> would those would those gyms be open? Like for for some those of sort of are, things. Some of them are. Right. Think, uh, yeah, they yeah, open have, them at sort of times. Have public classes and stuff yeah. like that at a lot of them. But it's like, hang on, the champs here now. If I can, out you get maybe. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I was listening to um a potty today, the one with uh Cowboy Cerrone on on the fighter and the kid, and he was basically saying how um. He doesn't. He doesn't really train with John. Like um, Jackson yeah. and Winkle, John yeah. come out to his ranch, and he they'll they'll arrange like a few days a week or whatever. So technically, yeah. he's in the same, you know, camp and team as John. But he's like, you know, I, yeah. I don't really know John. He's you know, bu- like. Yeah, he's built his own shed and shit out that in his mm. property cab. he doesn't really have to leave. Like, yeah, he's yeah. fucking wild, that dude, man. But um, got filthy, yeah. filthy <laughs> rich How in the house. How fucking cool is that motherfucker? Hey, don't oh, you reckon, man? man? Like. He's That's his boss, man, what he does, eh? Like, what he does with his life and shit. That's yeah. the fuck cool shit. And how you said, like, you's, like what you just said before, it's good to watch you fight. I say, it's what I want, you know? I, yeah. I, mm. I, like I was saying before, my missus, man, I said to her the other night, I said, I guess he's fighting this weekend. 
No, I was like, Robbie Lawler and Cowboys <laughs> and Rony. She's like, what? Oh, my God. Yeah. You know? Like, you know, like she that, knows. That's yeah. how fucking cool those yeah. two dudes are because you can, you, like, Most that's what I want to be known as, you know. Exactly. I want to, to, like, even on the local cards now and then one day big time, you know, be like, I want to tune in because I want to see that guy fight. Like, you know, Jason Knight? Yeah, the yeah. Fucking card this weekend. That, the motherfucker, that's, I, I want to see that guy fight. Darren yeah. Elkins, I want to see that mm. guy fight. Have those two fought yet? I don't know. I, I want to see them fight. That's a know? great fight yeah, for Jason, yeah. Jason Knight. Ricardo Lamas is on the prelims for that. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, this that weekend, is a yeah. yeah. Barn burner. Yeah, it was Who? meant to be Jason Korean Knight. zombie. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, Jason, right. Jason Knight yeah. is a, a dude on the rise, fucking big time. But Lamas, holy shit. Yeah, Lamas is fucking yeah, been in there with the best of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mr. Slippy Mean Boy. Yeah, yeah. I love him, dude. Another level, though. Dude, he's a savage. I feel like he hasn't had a fight in a while. Is that Jason Knight? No, Lamas. Lamas. Ricardo Lamas. Who did he beat last? Cub? He, uh, he, did he yeah. whoop Cub? I'm pretty oh, sure. I don't know. Yeah. He's definitely had a uh, he's definitely had a fight. Yeah, he's, he fought Max Holloway too. Max beat him on Max the, Holloway's on the, uh, another one who fucking brings it. Yeah. 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 He's, oh, he's yeah. a boss. Uh, he's that a that champ. Point to the floor and fucking... Yeah. That was no, the best thing I've down. ever that seen, eh? Yeah, I was literally was sitting on the couch just jerking off when yeah. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that is fucking mad. That's the shit you want to see. But too many people trying to do it after. Yeah. But on on that subject, we have got a huge card this this weekend. With C- card um, of the year, card of the year. Would yeah, it? Yeah, would it be? Yeah, yeah. Really? Dana White said today Absolutely. or yesterday. Uh, Dana three, White, yeah. you're getting three belts on the That's line true. here, man. This That's true. Huge. That's true. That's true. Dana White was like, this could be one of, this is one of the biggest cards in the promotion's history. Good point. Good that, point. That whole, yeah. that whole main, promoter, that though. whole main card but, there. Yeah, yeah that's is, true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dana he said that about two thirteen. I think two. <laughs> Dana's got aspirations for this one, man. Yeah. Like, uh, oh, he has yeah. to. Yeah. Like this, it's this is like that's. I said to my coach the other day. I was like, "Fucking John Jones is going to murder him." I he's like, "What do you mean before the fight?" And I was like, "No, in the in the cage." Like I said, "I've never." I think John Jones is going to go and team. Yeah, yep, John. fucking hope to. Yeah, yep. right. it's going to be uh, a wicked fight, you know. But yeah, I haven't seen John Jones like that. Mm. Like just how intense he was. Like yeah, he's. I, I just tend yeah. to feel like uh, what. What are we going to see different from the first fight? Like I just I see. I think it's just going to be yeah, same. Yeah, that's it. I think John Jones is going to hurt him a lot more. Mm. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm (laughs) I'm calling the opposite. I'm calling like Jones has had a long time off, and you know he's been rusty. He didn't look good against OSP. And DC's been active, and DC's been on the grind, and DC's been fucking more than good people. It's true too. It's all valid. Yeah, I want. uh, I'm cheering Cormier, but. Do I think he can get it done? Well, probably not. Yeah, like, I, I, I hear yeah. what you're saying. I just think like, it's I the, yeah, I, it's can the underst- I can understand that. It's the yeah. yeah I, I want I want DC just because he's been at the grind, like so you, you said, yeah. where he's had sort of like Jones pulled out a couple of cards and she went indiscretions. And as a fan, I'm like, fuck, I really wanted to see that fucking fight. Yeah, so I'm yeah, like, nah, yeah. slice it, serve up a humble pie. And then you get a rubber match there too. Yeah, I know. Like, that's one thing. I've, yeah, I've got make, that, make it, that yeah. voice is in the back of my head going, no, maybe you yeah. won't call the enemy <laughs> because yeah, yeah, yeah. then they get a rubber match and you get it three times. Definitely, like, definitely. That, that's on a fucking sicko like that. So, yeah, you know, settle like, the score. Like, we're still yeah. waiting for like McGregor Diaz 3. Like you're so yeah. intrigued for that. That could basically get to the same sort of standard here. But mm. I, I reckon... Uh, it's bigger. <laughs> this will be the bigger first time that I've seen a uh, cyborg fight live. Right. Yeah, really? I've only ever seen a ah. fight on tape. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look, it's a. Uh, <laughs> Boy. I think uh, this, uh, this other girl stands a chance. No, nobody does. Nah, nobody if, does. doesn't if, have a picture. If anyone can beat her, Evanger can. <laughs> Wait, Evanger uh, is fucking an animal. Do you have you watched her? Nah. Seen her? No. Nah. Dude, she's fucking legit. 100% she's really? fucking True. legit. True. Gator don't play no shit, boy. Yeah. She's 19 like, and 5. Yeah. 19 and 5. That's, she's had some she's fights. She's a fucking man. old school. She's. It, Bigger, like, yeah, and, man. Um, bigger than legit. I thought too. I thought it was like because she's a band. Yeah, no, she's a big, yeah, she's a big band. Well, you know, but she's around, like uh, one sixty five. Dude, you've got to what? Like, you've got to see her more cunts. Like she just, she just beats them up, just takes them down. Mad wrestling, just gets in their face. Yeah, like, yeah okay. Man. Yeah, I've watched it because I've been watching all the Invicta cards since um since Megan got taken over there. You know, because yeah. she was training at our gym when she moved. You have seen thirty six. You have own that. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, so. But she's she's, she's a legit, veteran, man. Dude. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. I won't be surprised if Avenger beats her. 
Really? That That's a big I won't call. be surprised. She's got a good I won't be heard surprised. Heard it here first, you know? folks. Yeah. 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 She's got a good record. There's a rematch clause straight up for them too, actually. Oh, so really? if Avenger gets gets the W, it's immediate rematch to Cyborg. Ah. That's it. Really? Yeah, yeah, I heard that today. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, geez, yeah, that man, Yana Kutz, like, that Yana Kutz Nakia fight. She's got lots of subs yeah. and TKOs. And yeah, yeah, look, she's, look she's at that record. She's old school, man. She used to fucking knock around with the Diaz brothers back in the day. Yeah. Like fucking early days, like. Early women, she's like, I. She fought people out of her weight division. Yeah. She's, she's like, I just fucking take True. a fight because it's a fight. You know, I have to. There's not many fights for me to take. So, but she's legit. She's cool. She's just fucking. That, she's not <laughs> funny as fuck too. Like, yeah, she's hell country. Per, yeah, personality yeah, like hard out. Doesn't uh, doesn't Texan, get, I think. Yeah, something Texan. Like, she something looks like, like you know that movie from Monster. Odessa. You know, Lur, you know Lurleen, the fucking. Odessa, Missouri. Yeah, <laughs> is that where she's from? Yeah, yeah. Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know that's what she reminds me of. Like. That movie Monster, yeah, Charlize Theron. True. I think she. I haven't seen the whole thing, but kills, I, I yeah, understand you know? the premise. She's like it's that. Like, she's yeah. like savage, man. She channels yeah. that lady when she's in there, just smashing these chicks. You know, like you can see it. So that, she, that, that's you, a crazy. You would record. need mm. even just to fucking take the cyborg fight. You would need to be a special kind of crazy. I think you know, yeah. like who was the the champ that ducked her straight up? Jermaine Durandamy. Jermaine. Jermaine. Yeah, Jermaine. Jermaine. Oh, Jermaine. Jermaine. Yeah. <laughs> Like, like they asked, <laughs> they asked, do you want to call, call her out? And How she said, uh, my that? hand's sore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah, their go-to. Nah, nah, yeah, she's man. fighting like soon. I've seen her she has, fight. She she's gone back to Bantam. Like, yeah, 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 she's, um, yeah, that's some weird shit, isn't it? It should have been, <clears throat> they should have just fucking chucked Megan and Cyborg in there instead of the home and Avenger. Who was the, uh, the Aussie chick that hurt, was meant to take a fight? Wasn't that... Who she was supposed to fight originally, and then she got the Aussie hurt, chick. And then they put the, this yeah. in, yeah, Megan yep. Anderson. Yep. Um, Woodley or Meyer? Oh, dude, so tough, so tough. I think call. Woodley lets him go and catches him. Yep. Because I think he's, th- he's, I think he's, he's got. He, that's what he used to do, man. Like he, he, that's how he's blasting cunts, blasting Robbie Lawler, blasting Kosher all his way up. He just come out, and poof, just explode, man. But then he's like, mm, with fucking. Wonder Boy, Wonder Boy, yeah, yeah. shit in there. Yeah, that was a snoozer. That rematch there that was, was a uh, snoozer. Yeah, yeah, it was. A sc- I literally, honest to God, I fell asleep during that fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Third round, yeah. fell asleep. Yeah. Chris wants <laughs> yeah. uh, Chris wants yeah. yeah. fell asleep. <laughs> I was going to go there. to them dudes, yeah. you know, but I literally fell asleep. Yeah. Like, yeah. Chris fell asleep during uh, Machida Weidman. Which just happened to be an absolute <laughs> fucking bar. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? It was a five round <laughs> war, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. It was a great fight. Five yeah. candidate. It, it, fucking hell, how in, the police? In, Jesus. in my defense, I had just flown back like from the fly and fly out roster and gotten lit. No. And I was just like. <laughs> That's fair then. It was on a yeah. replay. Priorities. It was on a replay yeah. too. Yeah. Rossi yeah. and I had seen the yeah. result. Oh, really? <laughs> Absolute. We were happy to watch it a second time. Yeah, just look over good, and yeah. Chris is there catching flies. Yeah. Yes, it's a good fight, man. But yeah, I think Woodley. Come down and let's it go, man. I've had that myself. Like I felt, I used to go my first three fights. It was go, go, go. You know, go, go, go. You know, like, will he be I mean? able to get the yeah. space though? Will Damian Meyer like? Will he be able to keep Damian Meyer off him to throw those big shots? You know, he, he just yeah, like. Yeah, I think Tyron Willie's gonna have fucking good strong, takedown defense. Yeah, yeah he's look at the size of him, dude. He's a fucking strong. big boy. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. See, uh, height difference on these guys. Woodley's actually shorter though. Yeah, he's yeah. actually a lot shorter. Mine's a he? lot shorter. Yeah, yeah. Mine's a fucking big four boy. inches. Like, my, yeah, mine's like six foot tall, isn't he? Wonder Boy had a lot on him too. He used to fight at eighty five. Don't know, I don't rate how they put the height there in inches. Like, You'd notice if you grew four yeah. inches overnight, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can show you what one inch looks like. That's about <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll, I'll show yeah. you eleven. It's okay. a, yeah. <laughs> It is such a it is such an interesting fight though that one yeah especially cool, because eh? those Fuck, yeah. all those not striker versus grappler because you can't even say that because you know Tyron's so well rounded but yeah, yeah exactly mm, but Maya has had to earn this imagine like, if Maya just comes he, out boy he, just fucking spitting wheel kicks him and just knocks yeah. him out he'll be like yeah <laughs> motherfucker yeah like just does the old fucking yeah. switcheroo Every, that would be awful every, flying, yeah. flying knee off the like, yeah, touch yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. fake touch flying yeah, knee yeah. Like, yeah. fuck <laughs> whips out some TJ Dillison or footwork and just fucking busts him up yeah. five rounds <laughs> But that would be the, the craziest thing in history considering how long he's been around oh, and yeah, like yeah, that yeah, he's yeah. never hit it yet. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. He's always been an awkward striker and, and he's really had success since he went away from trying and to strike. going back to jiu-jitsu, yeah. Yeah, he's just gone back to, you know, yeah, grappling oh, yeah, A good people. jiu-jitsu guy will fucking drown you, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, they fucking will. And when did, when did you start training jiu-jitsu? Like, uh, did, it came it. after striking, obviously. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I oh, know. I got into it. Probably put a gi on 
A box, yeah. I don't know. Get on after a year. So it's like, white belt for life, but me, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's Sean Jitsu. No, I'm good, dude. I'm good. Sean Jitsu. That's yeah, bad. that's it. Sean Jitsu. I think Vince said it to Ricky one time at a grading. He's like, fucking, you get your full stripe in Sean Jitsu. <laughs> Something like that. I was like, all right, I'll take that as a compliment, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. It is, man. Like, oh, yeah. Jiu Jitsu is really, really hard. Like, it is really, really hard. Which, I and, but I really, really like it. But I've, at the moment, we go. MMA, jiu-jitsu, you know, sort of thing. That's how. So I'm. no gi. Nah, I chuck yeah. the gi on. Oh, okay, it's just yeah. Different. Yeah, I chuck the gi on, but yeah, yeah. just different. I just, I just play my game, you know, like my game, you know. I'm fucking, yeah, yeah. I love to be like I got like yeah some wizards at our gym, you know, and stuff like that. that so, are, but they're really really good, man, and I love to do the shit they do, but. I just do it at the moment. I'm 30 years old, dude. I've got to work on what I'm working on, you know? Yeah. But yeah. And you've got to work on it all. Where do you fit it all in? So how many <laughs> days a week would you train, you know, if, if you're training for a fight typically? Six. Man. Six. Six. Far out, yeah. man. That's putting in work. Yeah. And and yeah, what, what, what out of that is, you know, how much jiu-jitsu, how much striking? You just do everything every night, man. So nice, every nice. every day, just train a little bit of each. Yeah. And how many hours yeah, yeah. are you training for, like each, each day? I don't know, two and a half or three sort of thing. And you do your road work wow. and stuff as well. And then you have times when yeah. you do sprints and then you have times Six when you do all a sorts week. of shit. Yeah, it's like for wow. me, when I get a fight, dude, I'm fucking zero in. And mm. yeah, like the last fight camp, my girls went back to Perth, my wife and two kids. Oh, well, Mrs. Not, we're, not, we're not married yet. <laughs> I, put a, I put a ring on it, but I haven't actually done the deal yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, fiance. Fucking expensive, dude. <laughs> fucking yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit, man. I don't hey. drink, man. I don't drink. I'm not going to go buy fucking piss for. Heaps of cunts that I really see, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not going to afford a we'll go and uh, lope or something like that, yeah, you know, I'm no, hoping. but fuck Nothing it. wrong with a long engagement, yeah. man. No, that that shows you yeah, there. Fuck. Yeah, uh, she's, there. <laughs> she's there with me. She has, has, she's stuck with me now, man, you know. But yeah, last fight camp, they went back over there to Perth because she didn't have to leave, man. She came over here with me, you know. She's, she's fine. She's got no issues back there. If I go back there, like I've been back there and stuff like that, but if I went back there and leave, I'd just get sucked straight back in again, you know. Yeah. It's just mm. too hard, you know. Like even I say that, I've got same, kids and shit. I just people. don't – I do feel different about everything now that I've got kids. Like I've been back there and been around it and I've, I've gone, nah, you know, not for I'm me. good, you're not for me, you know, and fucking – um, but – yeah, they went back there and they get to see all their family while I'm in fight camp. And the last one, I, we zero, zeroed in and really focused and fucking my last fight, I got the secret sauce now, you know. Like, mm. if I can, uh, that if I show up like that, no one's fucking beating me, dude. Like, yeah. you know, and, and, and keep getting better and, you know, just keep Good moving. Man. But just the mindset and I think, yeah. I've so just got, I don't, is yeah. it hard, like, in, in, in a fight camp trying to balance, like, a, a family and kids oh, so and, hard, and work mm, and very, all that sort of hard. stuff? Yeah, like, very, very fucking hard. And it's very tiring, man. And yeah. But she's good, man. She she knows, like, my coach, he'll, he knows that we're all on the team, you know. Like, mm. she's a part of it. I'm a part of it. She's got to be. He, of course, we yeah. all sit down and sign off, you know. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is what's happening and. Well, the next time we'll probably she'll they'll probably go back to Perth again for five or six weeks, you know, of it. Like, and that just helps you yeah. sort of go yeah. to go to oh, your yeah. place where you're getting ready to fight. Yeah. Like, yeah, it did last time for sure. We've only done it one fight camp so far, you know. But okay, before yeah. that, she's on board, man. Like she she knows like what's up, you know. Like, Was that the camp, most yeah. the most yeah. recent one? Is that the one where you got the guillotine finish? Yeah, that one. Yeah, Fuck, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was, that was a nasty yeah, joke, dude. Yeah, yeah, I, I love it, dude. That's my <laughs> fucking favorite. You know. Uh, yeah, it's funny that my coach said to us ages ago, like, there's a fucking bonus if anyone hits a mounted guillotine in a comma. He just loves to choke, you know, he loves it. Fuck, I've done it. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen, I, cause I've seen uh, Max Holloway hit Cub with it. I was mm. like, that looks fucking gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. try there that. you yeah. go, yeah. Max now, Holloway. Yeah, in the gym, out. like, my coach, uh, if I'd get it on it, he's like, ah, look, he's got, yeah, you know, you don't let him get his hands together. Like, because, yeah, I like it. It's good. It's fucking Fuck yeah. yeah So ha- yeah. explain <laughs> to us how the In the MMA circuits in Australia How does the transition happen from amateur to pro? You know do you, Is there a certain amount of fights That you've got to have before no, The pro league sanction it or You can just go pro straight up Really? If you want. Yeah. Oh okay yeah. So um, you, you can be just like Well I guess yeah Yeah, yeah you can You can yeah, if you want it It's not wise to I don't yeah, think But like some guys so. have had like one or two that's my opinion. It's not wise to. It's some people have done it and fucking has come out worked really well for them, mm. you know. Like on tops of them, I'd love to have done that. But I needed this, you know. I've had five five amateur fights now, and um, the next one we're gonna go pro. So yeah, it, would it just yeah. be the title? 
that would be the difference? Like, because you watch, like, we're watching your fights and we all watch a lot of MMA and there's some, like, high level MMA going on, like, in those in cages, amateurs, you know? Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. in those amateur fights. You yeah, know? Then, then, there is, yeah, man. Yeah, because, yeah, it's cool. We've got good gyms and good coaches all around here, mm. man. Like, it's a fucking, uh, yeah, it's good. Like, um, just growing yeah, exponentially. Well, as well, I think, like, seems, five minute yeah. rounds as a pro and there's different. Like leg locks and elbows too. Right. You can fucking elbow oh, so you as a pro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. I cannot wait to do that. I can't fucking wait for we, that. We were just talking. You think, wait, wait, you wait until you see me next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, elbows, right. dude, yeah. Actually, it'll be heaps better. I'm telling you. Like, we, we probably my goal is long, but still, it'll be fucking heaps So better. is there like when you're when you're getting into a, uh, into a scrap, is it just pure fun for you? Is there fear that, that comes like as, you, as you're making the walk or when you get locked in the cage or? Like talk us through the, you know, the emotional sort of ride that you go on. Maybe you know two, three hours, and then in, into the fight sort of thing. What's that like? Oh fuck, dude! It's, like, it's literally it's fucking unreal. Like it's really, I don't know. It's like you just go to another world where you know no one is ever going to you and him go there sort of thing. But like every fight's been different. Like you know, I'm sort of getting better at it each time. Like just yeah, chilling out. Last time I was really really relaxed. Like when I fought in Perth. I was really all day. I was sort of like shadow boxing, move around, like just you know. And in Perth, I sort of wasted a little bit of energy and stuff like that. And it was different there, you know, because I went back and forth in front of all my home crowd and shit. Mm. So that nervous energy, that's like everything's different. Every fight's different, mm. you know. Every fight is different. And for our listeners, the uh, yeah. Perth, Perth fight with the only loss on your record so far, yeah. is that right? Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. yeah but they was, um, they have a, a rule over there where you can't compete in a cage. Is that still, first, does first that still fight stand? Is first Fight with a cage. The cage ban got lifted probably I think early this year after oh, after okay. Cam from okay. Eternal and that they fucking got on and stuck onto him. You know, like yeah, I fought in a ring there, but which was shit. You know, like yeah. but fuck, it was it was like I loved the sport even more after that fight than I did beforehand. You know, like after losing, it was just like fucking yeah. But mm. t- like hats off to Duggan and he's got some fucking pretty cool jujitsu. Like, yeah. yeah, and he's a strong dude and fucking shit like that. You know, and that shit that, just, uh, that shit as yeah. they say would just make you better. You know, oh, like, I mean, you yeah. See, look what happened, man. Like, exactly. The next one, you know, just made me dial in. Like, uh, there was things that I, all right, went and had to go back after and go, all right, what happened? What did I do wrong? Like, what went wrong? You know, like, and there's literally fucking fifty different things that mm. it could, that it could have been because there's so much shit that you can work on with this man. Like, there's mm. so much stuff that you can do differently or better or experiment with and stuff like that, and just what works for you, like. And, and so yeah. the, the way that you're feeling yeah. sort of before is like, you know, depending on how much you've trained, you might feel more relaxed yeah, or yeah. if you feel like you haven't trained enough, are you still just, thinking about that shit or? Just finding that, what, are they the best way to do it, man? Like, I don't know, like, yeah, but I find being relaxed, man. Like I barely, the last fight I was very like, very, very relaxed, you know, and I'd sort of kept catching myself at the show, like walking out and I was just like, <sighs> Just get back there, get in the moment, you know. That's what it is. Get in the moment, dude. That's and how then, I want to so, be. And then, so there's yeah. a certain point where you start sort of geeing yourself up or it's like <coughs> as, soon as, as soon as he lays a finger on you, that's when it starts or it starts before that. Yeah, no, you just got to – yeah, you got to know. You feel it. Like, you know, if, yeah, you feel it, man. Like, um, yeah. It's and getting, getting your name called out and stuff like that yeah, too. Yeah, they have, like, you have little – because I've been there before, man. Mm-hmm. I've, I've fought that fight fucking – 20,000 times in that eight, ten weeks, you know. Yeah, like, in your head, and yeah. And there, you know, it's different, yeah. So it's, um, yeah, you just have little things and you feel it. Like, main thing is I just try and just be there, mm. be in the moment, you know, because you're not getting it back in. It's just something that's unreal. Just like, get you funny. on that mic there, sorry, yeah. brother. And we, we, yeah. were, we were talking to uh, one of our former po- podcast guest, uh, guests, Ben Wynn, was talking about the, uh, having a mental coach yeah. and, you know, like and how he would, exactly like you were saying before, he had been there numerous, numerous times, you know, yeah. like a lot in of that visualization and lots stuff. Lots of visualization and about. stuff like that. Yeah. And so, is that something that you're sitting around consciously trying to do, or it's just something that inherently happens while you while you train? Yeah, man. Yeah, just, just always just, in uh, your head. Yeah, I don't know. You just do it. It just happens, you know. Like <laughs> yeah. as someone who's um who's like tried drugs, like you're saying and stuff like that, is there part of it that's almost like this, you know? Mind altering sort of experience that you're going through, where it's yeah, just man, that it's crazy like fucking, amount oh, yeah, of it's adrenaline. A, it's a where fucking high, man. It it's starts a high. to come it's, on. It's and equivalent, yeah. if not better than any drug, any drug I've ever fucking yeah, done, man. Yeah, yeah, to be honest. And I've done a lot of fucking yeah. drugs. <laughs> 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 no, you know, like I'm not fucking 
that's the that's the weird thing about my past is I fucking abused my body for so long now, you know, like so long and it was I'm lucky, man. I'm really, really fucking lucky to be in good health and alive, you know. So I fucking love I nerd out on nutrition. Yeah. Big mm. time, dude, big time, you mm. know. And um yeah, and just getting your body it's pretty cool what your body's capable of doing, man, and your yeah. fucking mind, man. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, it's um yeah, I love it, dude. I fucking love fighting. The you know, feeling like, afterwards, yeah. is that is that like, you know, the pinnacle of it all right yeah, there? Yeah, it's crazy. I have a thing called like the look in the mirror moments. Whenever you go home, you have a shower or whatever your body's telling you, look in the mirror because I'll start, yeah, you, yeah, you look in the mirror and you go, yeah. You know, like, yeah. And I was doing it after I lost. I looked in the mirror, I was like, yeah, that was fucking sick. You, you know? did that just shit. Just that, that, yeah. that time, like, it's like it all just builds up and it's just like, yeah, it's really fucking a cool. F- having a fight with some cunt in the ring and set up like that <laughs> is fucking cool, man. You know, yeah. like it's it's out of this world, man. And I appreciate the fact that I'm fucking able to do it, and I fucking want to do it. I want to, I want to make a living out of it, dude. And that you've been, make you've been like, well, <laughs> yeah. like obviously a lot yeah. of fucking hard work, but a certain amount of gift, yeah. gifted talent. You know, like yeah. that's that's something to be grateful for. It's like fuck, I've got these hands that I can throw, sort yeah, of thing. Man. Like, yeah. and now I finally found a forum that you know it's it's yeah. of you know yeah. a useful thing. Because yeah. it's yeah. like yeah, it's, you find your passion, you find your fucking thing that you love and you want to do. And like I honestly fucking believe, get the right opportunities, get the right matches, stay healthy, and mm. fucking I'll be fu- I can bang with the best cunts in the world, man. Just give me some, you know. Just I work my way up there. You like I have to, you know. Like mm. and I, I can do, it. I can fucking do that. I can that, do it. I want to do it, and I fucking will, man. That's you know? awesome, yeah. man. And that seems yeah. like a hundred percent the mindset that you you would need to have, you know. That, yeah. That Conor McGregor spec self belief. That's like un- yeah. unprecedented. How you see that dude walking down fucking the Barclays Center runway in his fucking polar bear coat and shit yeah, like that. he's next level, isn't That's he? That's an dude, man. insane like, yeah, amount of confidence. Like He's yeah. fucking special, isn't he? It, it's an insane amount of showmanship too, though. Yeah, well, you know, like, he's I now, mean, like, you know, he, he's come from... He's he, planned all this shit, man. He's He knows exactly what he's fucking doing, man. He's a yeah. smart man. He's just a, mm. like, he's I'm a, not fucking nowhere near that. Charismatic. I'm not even charismatic at all. I'm just. I just like to fucking fight, dude. Yeah. You know, I like to fight. I got my but that's baby girl. But that is charismatic. You, know, like you that, don't realize, yeah, bro. Yeah, that, that's um, that, as as fans. That's what people want to see. It's like you saying, you you want to be that guy that people tune in for. The the cowboys, the Max Holloways, those sort of guys that you know are going to come to bang. And that's fucking. That's mm. well, that's marketable in itself. You that's let, money. Let right your fist there. do the talking sometimes too. Yeah. Right? yeah. That's yeah. it. Where some, yeah, some people get yeah. on the oh, struggle with all the marketing shit and how you got to do and social media and all that stuff. It does. It does my fucking head in, dude. Like because I know, like, for me, I got to sort of, I got to fast track shit. I'm thirty years old, you know. Like, I don't. But I'm not twenty three do, and I don't have all this time, you know. Like, but I've, do you yeah. really considering the age that you got into martial arts? Because there's a, a huge. Oh, I could fight till I was forty, man. Yeah. But no, but like, yeah. I want to be fighting the top guys. Like in the next three to five, mm. you know. But like, that's yeah. how do you feel? Yeah. How do you feel? You, you just say that. you're thirty years old. Yeah. How do you feel in your body? Like I'm, I'm twenty nine years feel old. Fucking twenty one, man. I feel better than when I was twenty one. Uh, that's yeah. what I was gonna say. I, mean, I haven't drank. Know, I stopped drinking fucking eight, nine years ago. Mm. You know, I stopped drugging fucking four and a half, five, like four. Sorry, four. Yeah, just over four. And yeah, man, I'm fucking. I feel great. <laughs> you yeah. know, like when yeah. I get into fight camp, fight camp and. And shit like that. Even like, I, f- I don't know. I wake up and I feel good. I feel good about life. You know? yeah. I feel capable of like I've seen some things saying, "Oh, beware of an old man and a young man's sport." Yeah, I think I'm, I'm not. I haven't peaked yet, man. Like, no, I'm, exactly. You know, I still feel like I've got a lot to learn. And I do a good. I do a physical job. I'm a landscaper, man. So I'm fucking slinging barrows and yeah. shovels all day. You know, like, and yeah, I feel strong. <laughs> I nice. feel good. You know, and I'm getting better with the weight cuts. It's just the after the weight cuts and after the fights. That's yeah, the you blow part. you blow out again. I yeah, it's just my body just what's shocked. Your, uh, I shock it, you know. Like, what's your uh, go to cheat meal? Like once a fight's done. Oh fuck, man! It's been all different things. I'm getting better. I'm getting better, you know. Sometimes I fight. like after my last fight, I went home and had a fucking that night had a pizza, big, big juicy steak, and fucking oh. did an avocado, dude. You know, oh, like, shit, yeah. son. Yeah, 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 that was it. Yeah, but oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And like that, but within. 24 hours, I was fucking eating deep fried chicken wings, you know. Like, yeah. <laughs> but like, so I prolonged. Because I can. Prolonged the thing. Yeah, that's it. Because <laughs> yeah. I can. But I know I can make the weight. I work, work hard, you know. But I do have to watch what I eat. I eat clean most of the time, you know. I, I'll do the chocolate stuff and that for about a week after every now and then. And yeah, every now and then I go to some first birthday parties, you know, there's some chocolate there or something. But yeah, I try to I, I work. I'll, I'll meal prep every week for my work for lunches. So I'm always eating good yeah. breakfast. 
and two or three meals throughout the day and then before training as well. So my missus loves cooking. She's a real good cook. We just we grow some fucking veggies and shit and cool. buy it all fresh. You know, we don't have much packet stuff. So nice. yeah, it's that's good. awesome. That's yeah, a lot. We're, we're exactly the same, man. Yeah, we're, that's how you got we're, it. We're, we're, we follow the exact same shit. Cheap as well, you know. Like people are like, mm. oh, it's too expensive. You just, you just feel healthy. better. Yeah, you just, you just feel yeah. better. You know, like that's I mean, it. you just yeah. you know everything just seems to be a little bit clearer and work a little bit better. Yeah, man, like for sure. e- eating. Yeah, good. Like I was for years. I was barely eating or eating McDonald's. You know, yeah. like fucking for a long time, stuff like that. So. But it's pretty cool what food does for you, man. Like and how do you check. how do you drop ten kilos in? How many weeks do you do that before a fight? You say you uh, fight at sixty one. Like, yeah, sixty one. So like it's I don't know. Um, I've done all different ways, man. Like the first fight camp, I just fucking because I'm a big bantam, you know. I was always a bit mm. of an issue. Like I knew I could make it. Have you more or less been seventy two keg since you were sort of like? End of puberty spec or? Nah, man. I was like a scrawny little motherfucker eh, for years. Okay. And then okay. Like, yeah, I was on 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 the on drugs and that, so really quite skinny. And moved over here, and I think when I moved here, I was, That's like, when you I was probably up. ninety kilos, dude. Yeah, when I got clean, I went oh, to. But I was like, I was cakes. pumping weights in the beach coat with the gym. But yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, look at me, surfers, <laughs> you know, like, like dude, <laughs> like, like yeah. And I was about ninety kilos, and then I got sick, um, and my gallbladder blew up, and fucking, I was in hospital for like two weeks, and I got I lost like sixteen kilos, something like that. <laughs> and then um, yeah, sort of just. Started working and then started training again and yeah, I probably walk around seventy two now and I sort of eat yeah, I eat clean all the way during the week and a little bit of bread here and there, but fucking Yeah. Yeah, I still I, yeah, I struggle man to uh, to know what I like I won't uh, I haven't eaten like Cadbury chocolate bar in fucking yeah, two years or something. Like that. True. No, probably not two years, that's a bit of a fuck crock of shit. My missus will hear this <laughs> going, Fucking you lying, you were eating Tim Tams last week. But you know, like I don't pick out on processed sugar and shit like yeah. that that much, you know. I can't really Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. I do it, but I'm fucking like So it's like <laughs> my body's just trying to get it away from me. When like, when does that cut yeah, start? Cut starts. I don't know. I probably sit just like through training, man, I lose a lot of weight and just eating really clean and then the last month I'll use a um program. Uh, Lockhart's program Yeah uh, like, yeah. Explain that, that. Oh, It's just like a computer program You put in your weight every day And tells you what to eat Tells you what your weights are and like, like macros that. and all that sort of yeah, stuff yeah yeah, yeah yeah It's pretty yeah. good It makes it really easy You know And I've just um, I've nerded out heaps myself man And just research stuff And do all different things And I tried keto for a while And she like Don't yeah. work I've got no gallbladder <laughs> yeah. Gallbladder breaks up the fat And I was eating oh. a high fat diet <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's like, Right no. Yeah, that won't work, mate. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but fucking, I get, um, good, like, pretty much the last month, man, you'll drop it, and I'll, yeah, I've done all different ways. I've gone into fight week at fucking 65 kilos. 65, oh, Lean as fuck, Jesus. man, you know, and that was eating egg whites and spinach. And know, just sitting in, sitting in a sauna. And struggling, yeah. Oh, really, yeah, yeah. 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 No, That'd be just, hard yeah, from there. Baths and that, but, yeah, like, now, I'll go... Yeah, I don't know. I don't really say too much about what I weigh. Go yeah. <laughs> you know, that's like, yeah. Between, I'm below 70 and then I'll get down to 61.6 or whatever for an hour, two yeah. hours. Yeah, exactly. You want to be mm. there for the least amount of time possible, don't yeah, you? Yeah, and then get yeah. back up and then, you know, just pushing. I've, I've gone back in at 67. I've gone back in at 68. I've gone back in at 69 wow. and I've gone back in at 69 and a half, I think. When, uh, so but when Ben Wynn was on, he mentioned when uh, UFC Auckland against Tim Elliott, they're in the – both weighed in 125. Yeah. They're in the hotel. Red corner gets on a bus. Blue corner gets on a bus. So they're all just waiting around get for their transport and they had a scale in the room. Tim Elliott walks in with his entourage, goes over to the scale. He's 167 pounds. Oh, 162 pounds. Yeah, yeah, do that with clothes on and shit. Uh, oh, I don't good. Know. Yeah, yeah. More, more than likely, I'd say. Yeah, but, um, yeah. that's from a one, big difference. From one twenty, yeah, from one twenty-five, even if it was say his clothes weighed seven pounds, like to get put on thirty pounds straight yeah. up, yeah, wild day. Eh? Huge they, that people like the, the, got it down to a make tea. those cuts. You know that, that. But I guess you would just have a, a better, you know, human makeup to to get, cut the weight. Yeah, the some weight cuts the fucking to. weight cuts. Fucking hard, dude. But it's fun. But it's hard. But it sucks. But it's like it's a, that's that's my my, my missus hates that part. You know the you? weight cut, the water cut. Like it's um. So what what stage <clears throat> do you stop drinking water before before? Is that twenty four hours? Is it longer than that? 
Yeah, nah. No, no, no longer than 20. Nah, dude, I'm fucking sipping water on my own day, man. I'm eating yeah. fucking fruit. Like, yeah, really? I do it. Yeah, you do oh, it right. You don't completely, nice. you never completely stop it, dude. Yeah. Last May, and I took a shit. Fucking walking into the venue. Took the biggest shit that I'd taken in two or three days <laughs> <laughs> before I got on the scale. Yeah, well, like, so I'm still, you do, if you do it right, then, like, you don't need sure. to fucking stop drinking, you know. Wow. Like, but, yeah, I don't. This yeah, motherfuckers can find that shit out himself, you know. Like I, I, had, to, I had to figure it out myself, so, yeah. so can every yeah. other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Trial and error. Saying that imagine. though, man, my coach and that and like Reese and that, they were they're all there. My first what first fight, I've cut weight with David Button, Reese McLaren, same time, you know. Yeah. So um, yeah, there's another guy, MJ. He was he was like walking around, just had a piss, and he was on weight. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, but um. Yeah, that was like it's a that's a different thing, man. Weight cutting, you know. Mm. Yeah, the one FC system's pretty cool. What's what they're doing what's now? That? Are they like they've got brackets? So you say like you've got to be bantam weight is sixty one point two to sixty five point eight, and that's like the you can you can be sitting anywhere in between that oh, weight. Oh, it's a but range. Yeah, but you're not allowed to be dehydrated and stuff like that. And yeah, it's that's it's pretty cool what they've done with the weight cutting mm. thing. But that's a big thing, man. Big issue, like. In the sport, it's happening at the moment. Mm. I think is what is probably what seen it this week. The four new weight classes, and they just yep. made Henan Barrow this weekend. Mm. They changed his fight to a one forty for some exactly, reason. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, but so shit like that. I obviously wouldn't... jumping on it, man, because people aren't doing it right, and they're not doing it. Help mm. can people, you know, if you do it right, you're fine. You yeah, know, you don't, like they a, do, yeah. The last thing they want, and it has happened in smaller organisations, but the last thing they want is a fatality to change it. Like, exactly. Yeah, well, that's I mean, why. That's why yeah. one FC chucked Absol- one in because they had a right. young so guy die. Yeah. So yeah. that's sort of play, yeah. it plays a definite part in it. Like you, the safer yeah. the better, absolutely. Yeah. Mm. You watch much one, much one FC. Or just all your occasionally. Series? Just I've seen yeah. a couple of Askren's fights over there and stuff yeah. like just yeah. o- online. That's some high level shit, eh? If you get a Absol- chance to watch absolutely. that, absolutely. some pretty. If, see, that's a, that's, that's some a, cool shit. That's that'd some, be an organisation if they came knocking. You'd sign on the books there, wouldn't you? Like, yeah, that, that, I'll that, take that any motherfucker that want to take me, boy. Someone wants to pay me money to fight and fly me overseas and shit. Yeah, man, fucking sign me up. Yeah, that's it. That's what I want to do, dude. I want to exactly. I want to go around the world and fight can't see me. I just I know, but I'm not saying I want to do it right fucking now because I know I've got to work my way up. You know, I've got to. Get the right fights and just win, you know. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah just yeah. win and yeah, just fight. Get you know? better. Yeah, get better. Get you better. Know? Like, yeah, yeah get better and, exactly. And yeah, like be that guy that people go, oh fuck, I want to see him fight. You Definitely. Because yeah. I don't sell fucking heaps of tickets here. I'm not that big draw card over here in Perth. I sold a heap, but fucking. Mm. You know, like, but how about with yeah. that lifestyle be though? You know, where you you obviously really en- something that you legitimately enjoy to your core, obviously, because yeah. when you yeah. talk about it, yeah. and just getting to travel around the world yeah. and getting paid fucking good money, yeah, man, to, be to do sick. it. I tried know? to do it last year. I quit my job as a fucking apprentice cabin maker for about three months. Like, I'm going to be a full time fighter. I realized that after about. Six weeks I was like fuck I've got a family man You're going to get a job yeah, done yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah But yeah that was fucking You know that's the dream man You know like, Yeah And it's hard like Over in America people have sponsors And stuff like that And you just got to You got to earn it I think You've you got to earn the right To fucking fight full time And not have to work You know Like that's what I realised You know like you got to earn it and you've got to take care of shit. So mm. you've got money coming in and you got to mm. You know you still got to oh, do the right exactly, thing You know it takes man. time but I, just totally. to, I thought fucking all in balls in You know like but it doesn't work like that, and I'm just I'm gonna I'm working towards it, you know. Like yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a it, mature man. approach to take. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, man. Like fucking, but that's it. I just want to get the right fights here and just have some, yeah, some good fights and people know my name. You know, if you could fighting, fight uh, yeah. anyone in the UFC after a after your next training camp, oh jeez, who would you oh, take? Fuck. I don't know what at no, what at Bantam. No, I'm gonna yeah. fight. I fight John fucking Jones, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kick that motherfucker's ass. No, I don't know, man. They're Bantams. They got a fucking good shit. The yeah. Bantams are coming up again, man. Like deep, really. Yeah, deep. I don't really know, but I've seen guys fight like probably I don't know what's his fucking name. Yeah, show me some of the Bantams, man. Let's find out. You can do like Jimmy Rivera. He's on the rise big nah, time in that division. Nah, kill me right yeah, now, that's dude. Like, for sure. Yeah, I ain't <laughs> got, I'm, not, I'm not the best in the world yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's a, it's a marathon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not the yeah. best in the world yet. Just give me a bit. 
Yeah, none of them guys. They've got so many guys on their roster. Oh, no, no, no. Would you, so fight, would you fight Cody though? If they get if you, they gave you the call tomorrow and they're like, we're gonna pay you. Hell fucking yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell fucking yeah. If they call me, yeah, hey, fucking no, dude, I would because sure. you'd I'd nothing to lose, man. I'm four years older than him, you know, he's a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, but like uh, better than that hits like a Mac truck. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, can't yeah, yeah. That. I think I can I can too, you know. Dude. I just sort of you just you just gotta I just gotta let him go, man. I just realised that in my last fight, just let him go. Yeah, just let them fucking go. We've, we've really often know. had the conversation as yeah. non-fighters, be- like before, as to how much money is someone would have to pay you to go out. Because you're right, like yeah, you didn't God, say how much they like, would pay me. How much was it? Yeah, <laughs> you're yeah, like yeah, for fifty yeah. bucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was like yeah. A, a, a standard UFC check. What would you be getting? Oh, fifty k. What to fight Cody Garbrandt in title? You'd be pulling Cody Garbrandt. They'd be pulling hundreds of thousands. Yeah, but for for a cut coming in on his debut, man, I'd be happy with fucking twenty five, thirty grand. No, but I fight Garbrandt for a hundred. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> I literally would fight him for a hundred. Yep. Oh, yeah. Don't shortchange yourself. I mean, not a hundred thousand, not just a hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, I mean, exactly. Do you have a manager? I, would you rather nah, fight no. Cruz or Garbrandt? Cruz. Same same price. Cruz. What, what, who do I think I would go better against? Yeah. Cruz. Yeah? Yeah. Nah, nah. Because <laughs> I don't know, dude. Because I, do, I can take a fucking punch. I can stand and whack with Cody, but I don't know, man. I'll find them both at the same fucking time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick the motherfucker's ass. You put too. enough money on the yeah, table. Yeah, yeah, Show me it, the yeah. cut. Uh, How long's his training camp that I've got going for? <laughs> yeah, Max, yeah, yeah. Oh, Dequesno, he's pretty good, man. I'd like to fight him. Fire uh, kid. Fire Gagnon. Kid. I'd beat Gagnon. I'd beat Gagnon. Mitch Gagnon. I'd beat, no, I'd beat Mitch Gagnon. 100%. <laughs> yeah, I'd fucking gone. beat you, uh, I swear. Yeah, awesome. Mitch, that's honestly, at, that's Mitch? honestly my, like, the last time I was in a fight, I would beat him. Yeah. Mitch Gagnon. Right now, if I got a fucking fight camp right now, and yeah, I could beat him. How old is Mitch? Out. 32. Yep. Yeah, old the fucking Canadian. bastard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is he Canadian? Yep. Yeah, that's why I'd beat him. <laughs> He's no American wrestler. Sturgeon Falls. Look at him. Ontario. Nah, sorry, I shouldn't talk shit about him, man. That's fucking <laughs> oh, weird. We're, we're, I don't we're, even we're know just, the dude, but... We're just having a laugh. It's, it's all love. We sent this straight to MMA Junkie yeah, after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like, man, this Sean Johnson. Amateur calls out fucking UFC. He's coming off a couple of losses, man. Yeah, I'll fucking... I'll give him his papers. Do you reckon I can just bring up the USA? Listen, you got this motherfucking magician. Going on in there, <laughs> I will beat him if you give me a contract. Yeah, I'll get, and rid, you of get rid of him, you know. Yeah. And just say, dude, you just lost to a fucking amateur like yeah. baby, throw debut. So, yeah, Yo, no. Gagnon, you're taking everything I'm working for, <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker. This is gonna be clickbait yeah. all week from uh, yeah. TKO. Don't worry about it, bro. We're, we're gonna make this happen. Uh, that's <laughs> some funny shit. Yeah, man. But fuck, Mitch Gagnon, uh, your numbers the, up, uh, son. Who are the and, and, irrespective of weight class? Who do you really like watching? Connor. Yep. He's special. He's fuck. By the way, he's going to knock Floyd out, I think. Danny thinks yeah. so as well. Got a fucking, yeah, Danny yeah. knows what's up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, nah, but, um, yeah, I like watching Connor. I like watching fucking... I like watching a lot of fighters, man. Mm. There's some fucking really good fighters out there, you know, mm. like... Um, Mitch Gagnon. No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Poor Mitch. I was like watching him so I could just be like, he's under, the, should, he's under the bus. I should be in the motherfucking <laughs> USC. Yeah, <laughs> no, um, yeah like... Fucking Soron, he's cool. He's always just, I love a country to get after it, you know. Fuck He'd have to be the people's champ, right? Yeah, Cerrone? I love, like, right. Is anybody yeah. more popular? Sounds a hell bit weird. I love watching Reese McLaren fight. Like, he's someone that, it, I see him come alive, you know, that's what they say. Mm. And he says, like, that's yeah. what you do. Like, that's what he does. It's wicked, man. I see the passion, you know, he come out when he fights, you know, and it's cool. And it's, it's Sounds like fucking gay, but it inspires me, you know, like seeing no, that sort of that's, shit. That's yeah. gold. And like Timmy as well, you know, like seeing them. Seeing Timmy live is really fucking cool, you know, just seeing how he does shit. And then, yeah, but like Reese was the fights that he's had over in one. And like, yeah, we fought on the same card when he fought Ed Arana. And just start, just, yeah, it's pretty cool just watching watching him fight, nice. man, you know. That's on a local, well, not even local level. He's, Reese is world class, dude. Mm. <laughs> you know, like fucking, and so is Tim and so a lot of those guys down there, man, so. Yeah, who else is there? There's fucking that I like to watch fight, man. There's a guy, Jason Knight. Love watching Jason mm. Knight fight. He's a fucking beast, man. Like he's really good. And um, I don't know, there, man. there is just so heaps. many, yeah, man. So like yeah, if I, if I see Lawler's name, I'm like, yeah, sweet. I watch that guy mm. fight. Yeah. Yeah. Roy McDonald. Like watching him fight, he's really quite technical as well. You know. Like, well, we, we were only talking about before the podcast, um, Rory McDonald's fight against <laughs> Robbie Lawler, and what a just an absolute war of attrition and a b- bloodbath that that fight was. Yeah, dude. That you was know, there was still like uh, to this date, and I was saying it earlier that 
that was the most uncomfortable fight for me to watch. Like as a yeah. spectator, yeah, I was, it was like, yeah, I man. don't know if I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I, I felt so bad for, ah, for you Rory. Pussy. <laughs> yeah. That's what you thought you should have slapped him. Is that? What are you, I was literally 100%. like, like I was saying, yeah. I had one fucking leg in the air jerking off and the other one yeah. jamming up my ass. With that, <laughs> like, that was just the fucking, yeah, that was yeah. that shit. I love it, dude. You know, no, I love yeah. seeing that cunt just give it her all and yeah. just fucking bang. Both like, of those dudes went to another level. Yeah, I said to my missus, like, that's the kind of fight I want to fucking be in. And then I, now I think, no, wait a minute, I don't. Like, no, you that's do, a lot but of you damage. don't. That's yeah, a lot of damage. Good, yeah. point. Good point. Yeah, you do, but you don't. But fucking, like, it's just, I think, yeah, like I was saying, if you fight five fives, man, you, you're like Superman. Mm, like, you know? I feel like this, this fucking. Cap- if you go five fives and knock the cunt out in the last minute, you are just like. God, MMA God, I think. That's you know, only like happened <laughs> a couple of times. And B- BJ finish. Penn's got one of them. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I don't, don't know who, oh. who that was against, but BJ Penn's got one of those. No. Frankie had a real late stoppage of Cub real late. Yeah, that fight, maybe that. Remember yeah, that was something. You got yeah. it like. Got to choke real deep into that. So twenty five yeah. minutes, he's still looking to Ch- finish. Champion, mm. ch- ch- champion. Demetrius Johnson, dude, on fucking That's Kyoji right. Horiguchi or whatever. That's right. <laughs> five minutes, no, four minutes and fifty four seconds oh, BJ. in the last round with oh. the armbar. BJ's <laughs> record does not look good anymore. <laughs> Tell you what, Nick Diaz looked great against BJ Penn, man. That was. Uh, what, yeah, it's an old school yeah. fucking banger, isn't it? It was, man. Yeah. That's right. Nick looked fantastic. That. Just pouring that. it on him, too. It's like, oh, he's way too long for him. Like, oh, stop it. Mm. Like, <laughs> there, that's it. Uh, Poor old BJ, man. Oh. Chris is a huge BJ fan. Oh, absolutely. I'm just trying to... Which one? Uh, maybe, the, I, maybe, uh, I've, maybe I've got that stat wrong. Yeah, he's only getting paid like 150 dude, for them fights, too, you come back. And, and he doesn't and, and you he, do that? And he doesn't need it. Nah. Like, uh, BJ Penn's... If they set him up with Yeah Rodriguez, though, didn't they? They set him up. BJ... I was like, I, was, I tipped BJ Penn to win that fight, and he was walking out. I was like, oh my god, so he's going to get knocked out. <laughs> I'd seen it when he was walking out. I was like, fuck. Is that, that's where we went. K- went K- to one was kickboxing. Fort, Fort Leota Machida. That fight was at two oh five. He fought Dwayne Ludwig. Look at his fucking record, man. Yeah, that's so many fights. Yeah. So many fights against so many top guys. You Sixteen know? and twelve. Like, he fought Rory McDonald, man, and he's fighting at 45. Like, Rory could fight at 85. <laughs> you know? He's, like, he's that going to. Yeah. Enormous yeah, yeah. difference, you know? Like, he could be a two-weight world champion. And Nick Diaz has, it was a world champion at 85. Do you reckon it you know? fucking gets, so he's gets fighting rid of way the, um, out of his gu- class there. Well, his new weight classes, it'll get rid of the two-weight. Well, it won't make it as cool, yeah. you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's two... Uh, well, that's why... I want to win. I want to win... Fucking Eternals Bantamweight and fucking Featherweight belt, you know. I sort of have that little goal yeah. in the back of my head, you know. Yeah. I'd like to do that because that's one thing that'll get me known. Is we're fucking, we're fucking holding up Australia's first yeah. double champion or whatever. Exactly. You know? like, exactly. Exactly. Cool. Well, I could be a, I could be a decent sized featherweight, I think. Like, well, that, that, that's what they actually even yeah. said on the commentary of one of your fights that um, <laughs> that yeah yeah <laughs> he's not a big bantamweight. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a big featherweight. He's big, he's, <laughs> he's big for a featherweight. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, apparently I am. I don't know. I don't really feel that big. Guy I fought in Perth was fucking big. Duggan, he was really tall, man. Like, yeah. I don't like, how the fuck is this motherfucker? Wait, he's like, I'm a big man and he's quite big, you know? Like, yeah. Really surprised me. Legs. Yeah. So, so much, so much yeah, weight yeah, in really legs. Yeah, really long legs. So like, much yeah. weight in legs. Was, Neil, yeah. Neil Magny, like, fucking yeah. sort of weight. Yeah, yeah, that was really weird. And the, But there's some really tall guys that are really skinny coming into Bantam, you know? And I'm just like, motherfucker, I'll ragdoll you and <laughs> choke <laughs> you and snap <laughs> you in half. Like, yeah. just there, yeah, just by getting my hands on you, you know? Like, so I don't really know whether... Um, yeah, the new weight classes are going to do. They're not affecting us at Bantam and shit. We're fine. I wonder if the right. UFC will introduce them, or, or are you talking yeah, about locally? No, nah, nah, well, either or either. Yeah, yeah, either yeah. Or either, you know? I wonder Fucking if they'll introduce them because, like, they're, they're. I don't think they're mandated that they have to come in. Yeah, but no, they I get think like it's, the is option it of CSAC. The donor was it California? It's, yeah, yeah, California yeah, State yeah. Athletic Commission. They, yeah, so obviously anything that's sanctioned by them, there can be different weight classes. You know, so yeah, I think. I don't really, yeah, all those bigger guys up there. Yeah. There is a big gap, you know. I, like and between but I, them. I feel like the UFC would struggle. Uh, ma- maybe it wouldn't struggle to fill those divisions. No, nah, because they've already yeah. got the guys there. Yeah, they've, they've already, already got, got them. On got roster, you they've know? already like, got shitloads of guys yeah. on roster, and I do agree with that. Yeah. Like Diego um, Sanchez come out and said, I'll fucking destroy the 165 division. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'd like, be ideal yeah, for him. You know, like that's just what I think, yeah, the disparity and the, the gaps is probably what's causing an issue. And people just not doing it right. And, 
It's not, yeah, it's not good for you. Closer really. to the, <laughs> closer really to the boxing you, model, like. you know, like closer to that boxing model where you can have a, a Floyd Mayweather who's a, a five division world yeah. champion. Yeah, well, because you slowly, you as know? you get older, you sort of slowly go up. You yeah, know? I think your body yeah. doesn't want to do it as much or something. I reckon, but yeah, I don't plan on having fucking 40, 50 fights. Fuck no. <laughs> no, yeah, 20, 25 maybe, something like that, you know, I'll mm. be happy with Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. And what, what, do you, what do you like to do when you're not sort of, I guess you would pretty much solely and only be doing MMA But like, do you have any interest outside of it? <laughs> Your kids <laughs> Yeah, my kids, yeah. yeah, food, I love food, man nice. My missus is a real good cook and like she, yeah, we, we enjoy food and going out for places or cooking We love cooking Yeah, and, solid uh, Starting to get into gardening, man, you know Yep like Fucking yeah, dude. You said you, you said you said you, well. got, said you got your own veggie patch. Yeah, man. Yeah, mate. Yeah. We got we got a veggie patch out the back that I um completely like protected from the possums <laughs> oh, and nice. bird netting over and like took care of and shit. Yeah, Cultivated cool. the soil myself. Hey, yeah, like, cool. yeah, we got compost and shit, man. Yeah, like, it's dope I'm sort of doing going to it, work, eh? but then like Ricky, he lives upstairs. Like really, he's got a house. He lives upstairs. There's two separate houses, sort of thing. He's always rented this dual living out. sort of deal. Yeah. yeah, he's always rented it out and like fucking. He put an ad up one time and we were literally moving out of our house like the next week and we needed to find something. Bang, went there. And that was like fucking two and a half, nearly three years ago. Cool. <laughs> he didn't have a living there. He's got like a full kid's playground in the back and shit like that. But Perfect. It's, oh, it's good, man. Like he's, yeah, like I said, he's my daughter's um godfather, mm-hmm. you know, and he's pretty much the same with your tigers. Like there's Tiger Lily. She's the older one in Bluebell. Tigers goes up to his every day for smoothies and shit like that. Makes her fucking Sick. Yeah, green turmeric garlic smoothies. <laughs> nice, <laughs> you know, like, and she drinks them? Yeah. Yeah, she loves them. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. That's real cool. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. Eh? So, kids, kids can be difficult with like the yeah, that's what I do. The man. health, like, health food a, stuff. Yeah, just with my f- kids and I don't know, man. I'd fucking don't really, yeah, I don't have too much. Other shit yeah. Oh, no. well, it sounds like yeah. it'd be hard enough balancing six, yeah, six training totally. sessions a week with kids, a family, a job. Like, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah it man, is very hard and shit like that. But um, I do find downtime as well. You know, somehow I do. Mm. <laughs> I do lay around on the couch. So I'm quite. Quite regularly, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know? you'd have uh, to. You'd have yeah, to. Yeah. There has to be a, a, a place where you just sort of like let your let yeah. your mind relax and yeah, just chill definitely, out. Man. Yeah. Like each night, sort of thing. Like fucking just kick back. Yeah, it's hard, man. Like, yeah, it's with kids and shit like that. You get in a routine, but when I'm training, man, I'm like, fuck, I'm not home five nights a week or four nights a week. If I'm not like the Friday, I'm either going down to Puma or doing saunas or. Do you know something like and that? What, and what what um what what time does training start of an evening? Pretty much five. Five. Nights, yeah. Five, and then yeah, you got like a seven thirty eight finish. Then you got a uh, eight finish, and then seven, and then fuck it. But then I live like twenty minutes, twenty five minutes yeah. in the gym, and sometimes I have to go to the shops on the way home and stuff like Get that. Home, yeah, so it's shower, like it does yeah. yeah. But I mean, yeah. I'd fucking, I fucking need to sleep as well because I get up five every day as well. And so sleep's a like, huge yeah, part of yeah. your, your hormones. I figure that out my body now, too. just like my body's on, gets it, gets it eight hours, you know, no matter what. Yeah, so yeah. 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 I'm you always sort of manage lucky to get like eight that. in? Yeah, pretty much most nights, eh? Hey. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it nice. seems that it works out like that. That's good, man. That's yeah. good. Seem, seem to be like look, looking after yourself, getting eight yeah. hours of sleep a night, you, you know, staying <laughs> active, eating yeah. healthy, like that. That's yeah. awesome. I'm trying to do as much, do everything right. Exactly. Trying to yeah. do it like a professional, you know, from the start, sort mm. of thing. Or I've learnt like the hard. It's taking me a while. I'm, I still haven't got it right. I'm not like fucking mine's a be all and end. I'll probably do. There's a lot of stuff I do that I could do better or could do more of or and shit like that. But that's just how I do it, you know. I just do as much as I can with what I've got and fucking hell work yeah. hard. And like when I get a fight, it's just like oh bang, we're, we're on, you know. And, and like, I feel it like I get, I'll get fucking like if I we're locked in, I'll get like a. I shiver down my spine, you know, like, and I'll get a weird feeling, like butterflies in my stomach, and and it, it's good. Target. It's like, yeah, we're on again, you know. We know what we're doing, you know. Like, fucking, mm. and coach ha- sort of gives me shit because in between fight camps, like, I, I don't, I could train more, you know, I could be more consistent, but sometimes I get sick, family stuff, and there's all that sort of shit, you know, it gets mm. in the way. Like, not gets in the way, but it takes priority. Then, if mm. I don't, if I'm locked in for a fight, in if I don't know, I've got a fight on this date. If my missus isn't feeling good, I'll stay home and help out, you know, and shit yeah. like that. And he understands that, which is good, but it, it's a bit of a running joke, you know, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, but. Isn't it crazy how we yeah. always, we always like feel better with the sense of direction, you know, if you feel like you're just kind of yeah. like yeah. floating, yeah. you're always sort of yeah. like, oh, fuck, yeah. what are we doing? But the yeah. second that you've got a plan or, or, you know, you've got a direction to go to, it's, it's an interesting like part of human psychology, yeah, I guess, yeah. that we, yep. you know, like you, if we have a goal in mind, then all of a sudden we've, you know, blocked out it. all of that other negative stuff because we're working towards something. Yeah, it Whereas is. it's easy to take in all that negative stuff when you feel like, oh, I'm just, 
I'm just existing, like I'm just floating or whatever, you know. And that's where a, a lot of athletes get caught up in like post long career, yeah, post yeah. career, especially like a lot of team sports and shit like that too, where you're around the boys for f- fifteen years straight at a professional level, getting paid good coin, traveling, yeah. being a celebrity. Then all of a sudden that stops and it, yeah, I've heard of that. Jo- Joe Blow in the workforce and yeah. stuff like that too. So mm. yeah, and that's where a lot of even older older people as well, like our parents' in retirement, age, the retirement, like oh fuck, like. What do I my do? Yeah, no, <laughs> These aren't my yeah. slippers. Yeah. Like, you know, like, <laughs> 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 who put me here? Just get like, senil- like yeah. senility, like 101 sort of shit. But yeah, definitely do that. It, it is. It's got to be goals, but yeah. It'd be and that's what I already know. I want to coach. I want to coach. I want to own a gym one day. I want to coach like fucking high level fucking fighters, you know, be yeah. involved in it that way. Or I'd be happy teaching fucking kids as well, you know, mm. like it's fucking. Just be in that's around. That's I found it. what I want to be in and around, mm. you know, and I'm going to work my way towards it. And Good man. And that's, you that's feel like um, yeah. the <laughs> East Coast is, is home for you now? Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. fucking over. Like I, I have this conversation with my missus like every now and then it comes up. She's like, would you ever go back? And I'm like, I'd fucking love to, but it's just too risky, you know. Like I was fucking in deep, dude, mm. like very deep. Mm. And um, just... It's better not to. Better why intri- test? Why attempt it? You know yeah, why? Yeah. You know, and I got a fucking good crew here, like really good, solid support system and shit like that here, and and the opportunities and the people like they, eternal. They flew me back there to fight and shit like that, and they'll they'll love to have, like, fuck, get me back over there again. You know, like, and Cam's been sweet for that, like accepting that, like knowing that I've got a, more of a fan base in Perth than here. You know, so if we get the right matches over there, we'll go and fight over there again. Yeah, you know, like yeah. I sort of I got offered one. And I was like, I'm not in a rush to go back there, you know, like, because it's just a, I, it's a big thing, like, the pressure, putting that pressure on yourself, like, they say, we kind of deals with the whole pressure of a whole nation. I was dealing with, like, my mates and shit from Mandra, and it sort of, it affected my performance, I feel, like, a little bit, you know, not, not 100%, but it did, like, and... It's just something that I'm going to have to work up towards doing again, you know. Mm. So a lot of people can, say that even at yeah. sort of professional UFC level, fighting in your hometown is fucked. Where yeah. It's like, oh. Yeah, really. You know, the, 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 yeah. Bo- the boys are giving us a call. I've got tickets here. I've got a radio commitment here because I'm the local guy. Everyone wants tickets yeah. where <laughs> dude like Robbie Whitaker, he yeah. flies away to Vegas, goes to the gym, stays in his hotel. Yeah, I love it, dude. I love it when detached. I heard that yeah. about him, man, and he said that. I was like, that's yeah. sick. That's He's what like, I want to do. It's a know? work trip for me. Like, I'm not here to see the sights and go to the shooting range and shit like that in Vegas. I'm... It's a fucking work trip and he goes yeah. and gets it done. Yeah, and then so. he gets home straight to his kids. Dude. Exactly you right. Know, that's yeah. what I like. You know, that's me and that's what I, sort of what I like to do and what I want to do. Yeah. You know, every fight, like, I've just gone home to the kids or with the missus, you know. Ice cream dinner once or twice on the way yeah. home and shit cool. like that, you know. One time I went, walked in after my second fight, I was covered in blood, walked into fucking Guzman and Gomez and they're like, <laughs> did you get in a fight? And I was like, what? And they're like, oh, were you fighting the thing? I was like, oh, it's all right. It's the other guy's blood, you know? <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 classic didn't cliche, didn't you know? I was like, yeah, you should see the other guy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's pretty funny, you know? But I usually went straight from the venue to there, you know? So fucking... God damn, yeah, yeah, right. pretty funny, eh? Uh, yeah, but then like... That spicy chicken burrito. Like, yeah, uh, you know, uh, like, you know, like, it's a good, like... <laughs> so guaranteed you I'm a fucking zico, man. I'm like, it's good, like, for the next week. You know you've been in a fight, dude. Like, when I fought Corey Wickens... And we just fucking kicked and punched the shit out of each other, man, for three rounds. He was the bloke from Coffs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking yeah. strange haircut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He knew what he was doing, yeah. Yeah, man, it was fucking quick. Oh, you got it the, was really you, fucking quick. Yeah. Like, you got yeah. the unanimous decision, though, yeah? Yeah, yeah, nice. I did. I fucking, at, at the time, it was weird. I went back to my corner at the end of the fight. And I was like, fuck. And I was just like, because I didn't do what I know I'm capable of doing, you know. I, was, I felt quite tenderly. I respected his hands a lot. And he was just a lot quicker than I thought, you know. But I just feel like pushing the pace and... Yeah, no, I think after I watched it, I was like, yeah, no, I won that fight, you know? Like, I didn't mm. think on the night. I was like, yeah, yeah. but 100%. after I watched it back, I was like, yeah, no, I won it. Sweet. Yeah, definitely. So I was pretty happy with that. And well, it's the same thing within Perth. I was winning that fight. And, you know, I won that. I was winning that fight and got caught, dude. <laughs> it was like, ah, oh, you motherfucker. I like, he got me, dude. And there's a photo. There's a photo of me sitting there smiling at him, like, literally the second. And he's like, shocked on his face. He's like, fuck, how the fuck did I do that? And I was like, you can't. Like, <laughs> I just, yeah, it was weird. It was a weird feeling and it fucking haunted me, dude. Like, it didn't haunt me other than like, <laughs> I fucking went back to, the, I stayed in Perth that night at my girlfriend's cousin's house with them and then the next day, <laughs> Connor and, no, who was on? I think it was Connor and Nate, man, was on the next day. Yeah. Was it? What a uh, fight that was. was it? it was, rematch? wasn't it? Yeah, the, the rematch? rematch. Yeah, it was, man. And I fucking walked in and. I drove that, that was in about an hour and 15 minute drive and that whole time I was driving, I was like, fuck, kept going over my head, kept just like seeing it, seeing it. And I was like, I was just like, can't just fucking get it over. I was just talking to myself out loud. 
Like, you just got to deal with it. Like, this is what happens. Like, now you just fuck it. You know, I was just talking to myself through it. I was like, you could have done this. You could have done that. Maybe this is what you've done wrong. And I just dealt with it. Sort of in that drive, almost, you know, and fucking went there and... Yeah, man, smoke two bongs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Mike Snake Diaz and yeah. fucking Conor yeah. McGregor. You know, that was my release, you know. Like, I did the old Benny Cousins thing, man. I'm not going to sit there and pretend I'm some fucking angel. Like, if I, if I get a fight, eight, ten weeks, I won't, I won't even think about <laughs> weed, you know. And then fucking after that... Within the week after it, I'll fucking... Do you, do yeah. you find that it, like, yeah. it, does it a, a, at all help with sort of, like, muscle relaxation or any I of that know, sort of stuff? I don't know, because I don't use it when I'm fucking uh, right, trading okay, and shit, dude. Yeah. I don't really yeah. know. But I fucking have no doubt that it would. Like, mm. I love for, like, CBD pens. I know that yeah. that shit's obviously good for you, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I reckon that'd be good. But, yeah, but it fucking works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I can imagine that it fucking it works, you yeah, know? Yeah. But, yeah, that's my thing. Like, I'll do the Benny Cousins all eight, ten weeks. Won't even fucking think about it, you know? And then... Yeah, just do it. You don't really smoke too much. Like, really, smoke as many oil. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just it seems it. like it's yeah. kind of synonymous in, um, in like various martial arts in the jiu-jitsu community yeah. as well as like yeah, it's you know, cool, other, man. other it's martial not, arts. Uh, fucking, yeah. Joe Rogan yeah. attests to the fact that it's like a, a performance enhancer for him. He reckons you know, like going through transitions and shit like that in jiu-jitsu, it helps. Yeah. But yeah, I've never fucking trained or fucking fought stone or anything yeah. like that. So I don't really, I don't really know. I just can't. Yeah, for me, it's, yeah, it doesn't. I just you get it, it, no. It's a different thing for me, you know. Like the, yeah, um, I reckon, but I mean, you'd probably go all right though, because if I watch a fight when I'm fucking big, oh, dude, I'm like, I see like just minuscule things, you know, <laughs> like differently. And I'm like, oh, it, yeah. why can't I do this in fight camp? Because I'd see so much more shit, you know. And I'm like, no, yeah. don't do it, don't do it, <laughs> you know. So, it's, <laughs> but yeah, like it does open your mind up to different different aspects of the sport. You right? can get yeah. in flow states and shit too. I've the like I play a lot of golf, and the the second like the second best round of my life was close to a decade ago now when I was when I was shit. Like, I'm so much better now. As you say, like, same as martial arts, you just progress on your technique and you refine it like, yeah, over, and, over and over and over. Um, yeah. So it pulled this round out of my ass on an edible up at Bribey Island. <laughs> 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 really? Yeah, You're man, on an edible? Uh, at, yeah. at Pacific <laughs> Harbour, man. Bra- Brad and I went up to Pacific Harbour, uh, ate an edible when we were there that fucking both just got bombed in the car on the way up, <laughs> driving around the cart. In a cart there, and it's a difficult fucking golf course too. It's not just a little like <laughs> knockabout country club. Like it's a proper like set par seventy two championship course, <laughs> and just shot a fucking ridiculous score off the stick. It like when I wasn't even that good, and Brad to the point where Brad's just like just watching me, man. He's like, "You're just in a fucking groove here, man." Where he, he'd gone to shit. Like he was like <laughs> the devil on his shoulder every time he's standing over his ball and That's shit. Mad, like, it was yeah, yeah. A complete flow state. It can happen, but have you I've done got, it since? I've got into it a, a couple of times, but um, there's play good. Uh, yeah, yes, but there's times, there's been way more times where I've had it and gone to shit too. Oh, so really? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's yeah. starting to even, maybe just, Definitely. have you played straight in a while? Uh, yeah. I take it really yeah. seriously. Yeah. Around, around <laughs> Christmas? Like, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, all, cool, all of a sudden you beat it by like six or seven shots. Yeah, like, like, oh, oh, oh shit! Turns out the grip was fucking awful. <laughs> so <for us>. <laughs> 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 Placeboed oh, yeah, himself. Yeah. That was that one time I done really well. Stop yeah. smoking chuff and I'm, I'm pro <laughs> inside twelve months. Oh, yeah. No, that's cool. Man. Golf's fucking hard, dude. It is. Oh, it's just so hard. Sticking at that, man. Yeah, like, so individual hard. sport yeah. and techniques and shit. So I, f- I completely get how people get into like refining their skills and whether they're martial arts, tennis or like a lot of individual sports like that. Yeah. The key is, man, as you say, just stick at it and it's how bad you want it too. Like yeah. if, mm. like, yeah. like you said, man, you've gone from in the space of four years being in and out of jail stints and doing drugs to packing up your life, starting a family yeah. and getting yourself a, like a distinguished martial arts career as well. Like it's just yeah. how bad you want it, bro. Not distinguished, yeah. I've only had five amateur fights for fucking... Man, more distinguished than us, it's brother. A, <laughs> it's, a start, it's a start <laughs> of something big, you know. Like, yeah, exactly. So I feel like, oh, I remember these fights. Every fight's different, like I was saying. Every fight's different and it has its purpose and you learn things from everyone and you learn things from every fucking training session. And it's pretty cool, dude. Like you just... Find out shit about yourself that you didn't fucking know, and you didn't know that you needed to know. Mm. If that makes sense. Yep. And yep. I don't really. Oh yeah, I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, it's. Yeah, I don't know. I'm. I found one of those people who just found their passion. I yeah. think you know, like, and it's just, like-minded people. Yeah, that's it. You know, like just. I just want to fucking. I wish I found it earlier, but I also. I don't know. I don't know. You might have been. Re- know, you might have been ready for it. Yeah, then. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I think. Also, you know, like it took fucking what it took for me to. Do to get over here and yeah, mm. to for it to happen, you know. So 
yeah, it's good, man. I like, like I said, I just want people to, I want to sort of people to know my name, you know, like in Australia mm. for, in the next two years, you know, like on the MMA scene, like quite regularly, you know, but man, that guy's a fucking savage, dude. You yeah. know, like, I love watching mm. that guy fight, you know, like he just gets better and better, you know, well, and that's I, what I want to well, do. Well, shout like, out uh, Jakey, the bloke who makes this uh, Stonehand cold press, the the cold press coffee. He yep. uh, he drops dropped a couple of bottles off to me and I, he asked who we had on and I said, Sean Johnson. He's like, oh, yeah, I know that dude, the guy <laughs> with the tats on his neck. I was like, yeah, was like, yeah I've seen a few of his fights. <laughs> yeah. He can bang. Uh, yeah. Well, dude, here's one thing for you, man. Like the tattoo on my neck says 5150. And it means fucking it's a police code for criminally insane. Like, <laughs> like that's how much of a dickhead I used to be, you know. Like, <laughs> I'd been up for a couple of days and got that done. And then I moved here probably Woo! fucking six weeks to a month later, dude. Jesus. Like, something like that, you know. And I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't have got that fucking done, eh? But it is what it is, man. Like, it also means, like, danger to himself or others. It's some stupid ghetto fucking gangster shit, you know. I've got hell bogan <laughs> tattoos. I got, like. Such is life, Ned Kelly and shit. <laughs> you ah, know, like that, but that's that's who I was. But exactly, my fucking mates' mum used to call us the board short mafia. That was us. We lived on the coast of the fucking thing, oh, and we were just loose fucking Aussie bogans, man, with mullets and shit, and fucking, you know, <laughs> like just eating pingers and driving around and fucking just being <laughs> like loose cunts, you know, like. <laughs> and like it's, I look back and laugh, but fuck, dude, it was dangerous, man. And I advise yeah. anyone that that. Knows anyone that's doing it, just tell them, like, pull your fucking head in, gun, you know, like, don't do it. And just, yeah, if you're, yeah, if you're stuck in it yourself, don't think that it's too late to get out, man, because yeah. you can always get out. And the mate, biggest, my main advice is if you do want to get out, get away from where you are, you know, that's what worked for me. Like, that's, um, that's something I was going to touch on. It's, yeah. and it seems like it's almost, um, it's a really common theme in, in stories about people who have had, you know, a, a big life change at a certain point. And for one reason or another, a sea change is always like a catalyst for being able to implement a big change in your life. And yeah, by sea change, yeah. I mean, you know, literally physically picking up and moving to a different geographical location. And the other thing that I noticed and, and about your story as well is is the influence of a certain role model. Like, you know, you moved to the East Coast and um, the, the first bloke that introduced you to your, your now coach and, yeah. you know, ha- having that that different influence that comes into your life, you know, you, you, yeah. you say to people who are in those situations and it's like you don't need to feel like the people that you're around are the only people that, you know, are, th- are there for you because the world is fucking huge. So, yeah. you know, if yeah. you feel that, like, your situation is getting negative, it doesn't have to be like I'm going to cut these people off, they're fucking hopeless. It just has to be like you understand in yourself that there's something, you know, that doesn't quite gel about that dynamic that that you need to take yeah. yourself away from it. You don't begrudge those people. They're, you know, f- free to live their lives however you want. But yeah. if if you're struggling, just, you know, sometimes fucking having a sea change, getting away to a different place, meeting some yeah. different people, that can be, yeah, you know, the catalyst to something really great. And you're, and you're obviously a living proof of that. Yeah, man. That yeah, theory, definitely, you know? you know. Like, that's, a, that's the thing. It's like, I always knew, I always had this thing, like, I'd be fucking... Great or good at something, you know. Like I used to think it was footy growing up. AFL, like played AFL footy, and used to think it was that. And then I don't know. Now I think it's fighting. When I found fighting, I seen like I said, I seen the Stephen Bonner and fucking Forrest Griffin fight, and I was like, I could fucking do that shit, you know. I'd mm. love to do that shit. That'd be fucking mad, you know. Like and then I had a mate who used to amateur box, uh, Brett Maffer over in Perth. And he used to go to his fights, and I'm like, it's pretty cool, you know. But just the a- MMA is just fucking savage. That's my style, you know. Like. Just learning the jiu-jitsu and the wrestling stuff is, is quite – it's very technical and fun. Like, you can mm. get really good at it. But I just got that – I like I like it, you know. Like, I feel like I feel like I'm strong and I'm a fighter. Yeah. Mm. You know, and, like and as much as it – like, there's some martial arts artists out there that will fucking touch me up and choke me and rah, rah, rah. But put us in a fight. Motherfucker, <laughs> like, yeah, well, you know? it's proof of the yeah. fact that yeah. if there was cash on the table, fucking Sean's shaping up for Cody Garbrandt. Like, yeah. I, yeah. Can, I can guarantee yeah. that that fucking paycheck has got to be large <laughs> for me to step into <laughs> that shit, man. Yeah. I've got, I'm thinking about, like, you know, is this going to be irreversible damage for me? Like, <laughs> am I going to nah, be able to come back <laughs> from yeah. this? We we were talking earlier, like, we've, we've had discussions about what would be the actual figure that, like, one of us completely untrained dudes would need to step in with Anthony Rumble Johnson and just <laughs> fucking see oh. how you go. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, and we... Shoot for a double straight away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot yeah. for a double. Mate, I, I, I just, just put uh, my chin out. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I'd, really? just, I'd just be like, mate, I'm going to go out anyway. Like, I'm not even going to try and win this. You'd hope it's, that he it just tried. You and, it's and Anthony Rumble <laughs> Johnson, yeah. man. Collapse your skull, man. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what it is, man. Like, 
it's fucking ballsy, man, getting in there, you know. It like, is, oh, man. It is. Yeah. Hats off. It I've is watched. Hats off, I've watched. Yeah, um, hats off to oh, hats off to every motherfucker that's ever done it. You know, like we've all got something in common. Like, whoa, look at that, man! What the fuck? <laughs> his cat. Yeah. He's got no hair. <laughs> 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 what? How cool is that? <laughs> oh my god. Dude, it's I'm a hell cat it. person. I grew up with heaps of cats. I love this thing. That's, uh, the, uh, oh my god! Poor, poor Julia Mr. Street mascot. Here, I got to get a picture of this man, Mr. Mr. Big, <laughs> Mr. Bigglesworth. That is awesome, dude. Oh, I love him. The oh, Julia Street mascot god. Montgomery has uh, jumped up on on Sean's lap here. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool, man. He's about he's like about that. four months old. Oh, really? Like, he's like handling a ball bag, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, I put my tongue on it. So, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking sick, man. Uh, yeah. He's uh, uh, he's thing, full yeah. feral kitten mode at the moment. He's definitely <laughs> looking for a blue. That's for sure. That's cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's really fucking cool. He's just training for his first blue. He's in fight camp. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's four weeks out. Yeah, uh, yeah. Did you say you've got a couple of cats? Yeah. No, I don't have cats. I grew up with grew cats. Up with yeah, cats. I grew up with yeah. cats. My mum's like crazy yeah. cat lady. Nice. Yeah, she like That's breeds. my kind she of people. She breeds the motherfuckers now, dude. Yeah, nice. she's like turned it into an empire or something. True. Sort of like, yeah. <laughs> the yeah, lady that I bought. Cats are cool. I like the cats. lady that I bought Monty off. Uh, she's a sphinx breeder, obviously, yeah. and um, and I think like not only not only her own um, not only her own cats, but she obviously gets like cats in from WA that are good breeders or whatever, and fucking, she had. Over 20 cats, <laughs> over 20 of these sphinxes there of all varying what? ages and shit. Dude. And like his shit fucking stinks, man. <laughs> like I've, I've got his litter in that, in that other room in there and, um, and he takes a shit and this whole house is bombed, man. I have to open a few windows, spray a bit of Glen 20, fuck, get rid of the shit That's ASAP funny. and I'll, I'll admit it on air, I'm not that proud but I will take a baby wipe and wipe his ass so that he, <laughs> ah, you got so that he doesn't smear yeah. shit on the couch. And, hey, yeah, and I do the same th- thing with my kids. That's the only think- reason I wipe their <laughs> And to think of fucking 19 other cats in the house doing the same thing. Man, I don't yeah, know. That, that's, yeah. too, that's too it much for me. On. Yeah, I grew but, up but I'd catch it. But I, I, nice. I, d- I dig those people, man. I, I, I feel at home in those Dang. houses. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, cats are fucking wicked, dude. Like, yeah, they're, they're, yeah. Cool anim- they're cool animals. But Especially that one, man. That's very fucking strange. wild. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think my missus, I think we're getting chickens actually at our house soon. I'd like to have nice. chickens. Yeah, but yeah apparently like we're getting chickens here. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. What do Like a chicken lays an egg a day or more? I got fucking no and, idea. And, dude. and egg a day. I'm and they lay sure. twelve at a time, and they all come in a carton. That's yeah. what I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite impressive, actually. Uh, how they do that. <laughs> yeah, I think I think a good run rate is like one a day. What's your guess? One. One. Yeah. yeah. Two. Can lay only one egg. Uh, out there. Can. And we'll have oh, will. S- some days when it does not lay an egg at no, all. Useless. Yeah. Exactly. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> So you, so you just got no, well, to get a few of them yeah. and let it build yeah, up. Yeah, you got to get a few of them and build up. Yeah. Would it's you ever get in front? I probably have. I have four eggs in my smoothie every morning. Really? Four yeah. eggs in a smoothie. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll eat. eat four <laughs> four eggs a day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I depends. I change my food up a lot. So, but yeah, food, uh, eggs, quite often they're a staple part of it. You know, mm. like, so definitely, yeah. Yeah, I try to. <laughs> Hot dog. <laughs> hey, that's it. Sweet. Yeah, no, eggs are good. Eggs are really good. Chris, you've gone Super really food. quiet. Yeah. <laughs> when you go, when you you go into it? like um, fight camp mode or like wake up mode, eggs are eggs are high, aren't they? Yeah, high true. The yeah, place. true. Yeah, definitely. Is yeah. it um a bit better on your digestion? Like rather than sort of if you're if you're already kind of depleting your body, throwing meat in there is it, is like if I'm ever if I've ever got a crook guts, fucking stay away from meat a little bit. Like I think it's just a bit harder to digest. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Eggs, eggs are pretty soft on the old constitution. If you yeah. got the trots or something like that, have some scrambled eggs and a piece of toast is usually pretty, go. pretty good on yeah, the old guts. True, true. Yeah. No, no, yeah, that. Yeah, no, I'll eat meat. I'll most most of during the week I'll eat eggs and that, but sometimes I'll have a steak like on the Thursday. Yeah, on the Thursday before weigh-in sort of thing. That's almost your last meal. There's a big steak or whatever. Nice. Yeah, fucking goes down good. Yeah. <laughs> mm. What 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 would be your last meal? If you like, if you were going to get it executed, <laughs> oh man! No. Someone asked me this the other week, and I have no fucking idea. Really? Yeah. There's a dude yeah. on my death row. Yeah, my missus makes a mean curry. Yeah, my missus makes a mean curry. 
That's pretty. N- really that's pretty nice. Curry. You'd eat, yeah. eat your Mrs. Curry. Yeah, that's like nice. from scratch, she cooks it like it's pretty fucking good. That's I never used to. Eat, and, but I it's like good, that but, answer. But, I like but that it's got to have the condiments as well. It can't just be a curry in a bowl. It's no, bro. Curry no, they give you what you want. Like they give you yeah, whatever yeah, you yeah. want. Yeah. Like yeah. you have that yeah. and dessert yeah. and an entree. Yeah. Like yeah. they get you whatever you want. How was that guy on death row recently that ate the forty-five Bibles or something? No, no, a holy Bible. He requested one one Bible and to eat. He ate the Bible as his. Last what minute. a yeah. fucking jerk! <laughs> yeah, like, no, seriously, yeah, yeah. that cunt deserves yeah. to be dead, man. Yeah. For being wow. like, a fucking idiot. The world did not need him here. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, man. That's yeah. really rude, but fuck. Oh man, yeah. yeah, man. If he's, he's on death row, we've already decided he's uh he's yeah. fair game. Yeah. Yeah. He's no good. Yeah. 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 He's obviously done something bad. It's, it's, una- it's unanimous. <laughs> he's no good. Yeah. Something yeah. heinous. He's done really something heinous. more than jaywalking. Yeah. 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 That's making a statement. Timothy McVeigh, I think, had like. Choc, mint choc chip ice cream. Or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's something. been like serial killers. Yeah. It's like a you know, let's let's see who can be more inf- infamous than yeah, the I've last heard person. One of like something, a single someone, olive or some something. Some guy like recently that. doing something hell stupid, like a fucking. I can't remember if it was like a massive fucking. Um, what do you have? I can't remember, but but it was like just some ridiculous amount of food. Oh, I as you like would, yeah. as yeah. you I'd would, you're gonna, get, you're gonna get barbecued yeah. anyway, so yeah. you know. Or, or comes to begin, like you give me some Popeyes chicken or shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. KFC. That'd be DC. Yeah. I'd be yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Although yeah. something like KFC fried chicken, like in bulk, bulk loads of ice cream, would be dope. I don't, I don't know if I'd even be hungry, dude. Yeah. In in all in all honesty, you'd have a feed. You'd have a feed. Of course you would. I don't know if I would, man. I don't know if I would. I don't know if I would. I think you'd be in a total... Like, that would probably be the most intensely helpless experience that you could ever ever come across is when the state has decided that... You're out. You're out. Like, there's no chance of law, of, uh, you know, good Samaritan, of somebody sticking up for you. All bets are off. Yeah. Like, Even just we've decided that like we're. <laughs> that's it. Shit, like, yeah. I was in there and I used to, I used to look around. And what, was, like, what was that like, if you, if you don't oh, mind us asking, man? Was that like a <laughs> pretty, um, pretty intense experience? Not like obviously. it was weird. Like, Australian jails isn't like American jails. So, what, right. what I thought I was going into, I seen on TV. They told me I was going to jail. I fucking cried like a baby, dude. True. I was like 18 or something like that. I only went in there for like a week the first time or something. But anyway, after the, I went in another time for a few months and another time for just under two years. And um, that was. It was weird. It was fucking weird. Like, yeah, it was like I got in fights in there and shit. Yeah, and spent yeah, time in true. solitary and shit. Dude, how's this? This is like, this is my jail memory. Like, I nearly died in there, man. I was in like solitary down the back, which is you're down, you're locked in a cell. There's no TV for 23 hours a day, one day out and shit. And I was down there for 10 days or something like that. 23 I'd done, one day out. Yeah, like oh. fucking. And then um, I fucking, the food, you only get like your three square meals that they bring, you know, and the food come around. I fucking starve. I remember it was a Thursday, so it was like chicken. I started shoving this chicken down my fucking throat and, and it got stuck to me. It got stuck in my throat and I start full on choking, man. Like, Fuck. full on, like, 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 full on fucking throat choking. And like, I was got over to the toilet, standing over the toilet, like, just trying to get this fucking big chunk. It was like a full on half a breast. I'm <laughs> just shoved down my throat, probably. Like, and I was just trying to get it out, trying to get it out. And I was like, and fully. Like, I could see my hands started going blue, man. And I was like, no bullshit. I was over this toilet in jail. And I was, started, I was like, I'm going to fucking die. What <laughs> a way to go chicken. out. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, and then this screw opens the door. <laughs> screw opens the door and I'm fucking, I've literally got my fucking hand that far down my throat, man. Yeah. Ripped it out and just like, and spewed heaps of shit up and then heaps of blood and fucking. Then like, I couldn't swallow anything here. Did I take a minute? I couldn't swallow fucking my saliva. I couldn't add no like reflex to swallow. So fucking... Ended up in hospital, dude, and I had a chicken bone pierced in my fucking esophagus. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, no, she pierced my esophagus, man, and I, they'd done an operation and fucking pulled it out. And wow. Yeah, I was in the hospital for, like, three days after that, and then God straight back it. down the back when you get back to, like... But, yeah, that Shit. was it. Yeah, but I had times where I sat around and I just looked at all the people walking around and that and fucking... There was some, there was some funny dudes in there, man. It was like a big... You put a bunch of boys together... Motherfuckers are gonna laugh, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. And once people get sober and straight like that, it's pretty funny, but it's also a pretty intense environment. You just got to know how to read it. I think. But is there like yeah. is there much drugs and stuff that works its way in there? Yeah, or? Enough, so you yeah. just choose to stay away yeah. from it as a yeah, that's it. Yeah, rehabby yeah. type sort yeah, of thing. That's yeah, that's it, man. You know, that's where I stopped. You know, I was like two thousand nine or something, nine ten or whatever. I was in there, and um, that's when I made. I was like, fuck, I got to do something, man. I've done this course, this pathways course, which is about cognitive thinking and all that, and. Emotions, feelings, thoughts, behaviours, blah, blah, and that sort of it really fucking worked for me because <laughs> so yeah. I stopped doing it, you know. And like another thing I don't learned about in there is 
the plasticity of the brain. This sounds how weird. I learned about this in jail. They taught us this in jail. Like you can change habits by just like self talk and mm-hmm. like literally create new neuro pathways. And dude, I, f- I was sucking my thumb. I sucked my thumb until I was 22 years old then. Really? Yeah. Like not always around my mates, but at night going to bed uh-huh. and shit like that. And I was like, oh, I really? want to stop doing this. So I used that for like 50 times in the morning, 50 times at lunch, 50 times at night for uh, I think 21 days to form a habit, 47 to break it. That's what I think they taught us on the thing. So for 47 days or a bit longer than that, I was saying that every day. I'm, not a, th- I'm not a thumb sucker. I'm not a thumb sucker. I'm not a thumb sucker. Like that many times. Uh-huh. And I fucking stopped doing it, dude. I haven't done it since. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I went to another jail and I was like, I want to stop drinking. Started doing AA there and they're like, you've got to stop drinking altogether. And I'm like, I can just have a couple of beers. And then they showed me this thing, like the first part of your brain that gets affected is reasoning. So if you reason with yourself, I'm going to have six beers, you have one drink, that part starts getting a little bit less, you know? So right. yeah. I was like, ah, oh, yeah. fucking cunts, i got to give it up, you know? So I stopped drinking and I got out in like 2010 and then fucking, yeah, got Got to just stop. Wasn't drinking, but got on the drugs hard and just yeah went hard out, dude. Wasn't drinking. Yeah, wasn't drinking. So drank just, since just get on drank. the gear with no like yeah. not having any beers. Yeah, no smoking weed then either, man. Just really, just fucking, yeah, just like, poor. yeah, rock like, and roll. Yeah, like every day for the next three years, somewhere. Oh, like pretty much. Wow. So do you, you think it's safe to say that you've got like an addictive personality? Oh yeah, oh. fucking oh. And that's yeah, like yeah. you know MMA is now yeah. what you've been able to to channel it into something. Yeah, positive. man. Like yeah. I'm, 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 I call it an obsession now, not an addiction. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know, it's yeah, I think addictions aren't healthy. That's sort of how I reason with myself. But obsessions are. Mm. This, <laughs> this one is, man. Yeah, this Look whole this. sessions, you know, like, yeah, my missus, she gets pissed off, dude. She's like, what are you talking about? It's fighting. I've got to, I'm starting to get a bit better, you know, like, fucking, still, yeah. the th- things that come with that, like, like you say, the diet, the exercise, the lifestyle, like, yeah, it's a, it's, for me, it's, it's a 24 7 thing. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's not fucking, it's not a, it's not a sport. It's not a, well, it is a sport, but it's not a fucking game. Mm. We're punching on, dude. Like, and I, it means a lot to me when I win. Like, I fucking get, you see, I get really emotional when I win. Yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, I fucking yeah. love it. You know, I get so fucking high. I <laughs> just stupid shit when after I win, you get on that adrenaline high, you know, like adrenaline drunk. Someone called it. And yeah. Yeah. You just right. say some really funny shit and you just, yeah. Michael that's why. Bisping after he won the title. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Post yeah. fight press conference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just How's some um, weird shit. Yeah. In the, I, we went to UFC Brisbane. I asked Misha Tate this same question, man. Yeah. I was like, Paint a picture of like the 72 hours after a fight. Is there, t- in terms of like, we're talking about euphoric drug highs here with like the adrenaline dump running out and stuff. Is there, do you come down a little bit after a fight? Like win, lose or draw? Or is it sort of, or are you just buzzing after a fight? Yeah, after I a keep victory? going eh, for a bit, man. And I feel quite good. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't really get a come down, no. Yeah. No. Nah. I've gotten sick like after two of my fights. Really? Like, I just got the flu real bad. Yeah. I think maybe like. In the days after? Yeah, probably like. Within the week, you know, Fuck. within the week I get. How yeah. lucky is the timing on that? Yeah, well, I think After it's because of run, the weight cut. Just run down. You get so oh. delayed, yeah, and your body goes so high, and then it's just like, well, and because I go from eating so well to shitty, that's what I've realised now. Like right. I used, to, I went, I've sort of been delaying it. I'd fight and get further and further away from the fight that I start eating bad food again. But now I just, I go so clean and so, like over that fucking last six weeks, four weeks or whatever. And then just I've learned I've got to it's I've got to live it you know yeah. <laughs> can't yeah you just got to live it dude like I'm getting there like the whole thing I still like yeah I could do there's a lot more I could be doing better you know and I'm working on it and it's it's good like I think fucking, that's key know? to have like that's yeah. what everyone says about Robbie yeah, Whitaker fuck, like yeah. even after his fight against Yol he was most critical of his performance and saying I've still got so much work to do <laughs> like I've <laughs> still got so much shit to learn and that's. You know, that's the coachables or whatever, like they say. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. Yeah, are you like just going to keep improving? Like, because yeah. martial arts just seems to be like this. You know, f- for us anyway. Obviously, I always preface everything with we don't we don't train. But <laughs> um, you know, you hear people talking about black belts, and it's not just like a black belt is a black belt. Like, there's people who are fucking ridiculous next level that are still a black belt. And you might be a black belt, but you're still not on their level, you know? Yeah, like, 100%. Like yeah. Marcelo Garcia is, you know, like in a whole different league to some standard like black belt that would ever, you know. And there's just yeah. like, it seems yeah. like there's this never ending learning curve where you could just go forever and you would never, you know, you would never get to the a- the absolute top. Like you could always, there's always something to yeah. learn or always yeah, you something. Sh- you showed us it this way a little bit so I made a mm. modification here and shit. Yeah, it's never really finished, is it? Yeah, no, that's mm. it, man. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, yeah. It does go like like you're saying, like that. That's Yeah, I don't really know about a time frame. Like, yeah, I get it. I wake up the day after a fight and I'm like, fucking, yeah. Like, I love it, you know. Like, and then I fucking... 
I'll watch it a week or then like I'll go back into the gym like after a couple of days, you know, and I'll get it again and then people will talk to you about it and shit like that. So it keeps getting bought up, you know, and it's yeah, you never really you never really lose a good feeling about it, you know, it's always a good feeling. It's always a good memory, like really positive and shit. And even when I lost, man, when I lost, um, it was a good experience because fucking I, I learnt a lot about it myself, you know. Like, mm. yeah, that's all, you know, I took I took a lot out of that. And I don't want to... One's enough. <laughs> I'm not fucking losing again. Mm. But, yeah, uh, you yeah. know, yeah. one's enough, uh, you know, like... But, yeah, if it happens, it happens. If it happens, it's because I let it happen, you know. Like, that's my my thing. Like, I'm the only one that can beat me, you know. Like, it's yeah. just something... If I'm on, when I'm on and, and I'm fucking... I've done the work and I've ticked the boxes and I'm fucking there... No, you can't. Well, no one will beat me. Yeah. You know, I don't want to sound oh, cocky yeah. and shit like that. No, and I'll be like, no. I'll fucking smash any cunt. You That's know? exactly no. the mentality you know? that you'd want to have, though, wouldn't yeah. it be? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Absolutely. I, 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 and I honestly like believe it, it be. you know, like if I can yeah. get, you know, like yeah. if I do the work and I keep getting better and I'm fucking there and I'm mm. on, I've just, yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah. That mentality, yeah. It's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. Yeah, and it's, and it's yeah. like it's a yeah. directly related to, you know, the plasticity of the brain that you're talking about, you know. Yeah, it's, it's like yeah. self-talk if, and visualisation. If you can will yourself into something, and that's that's something that is one of the hardest things to deal with as a human being on fucking in any endeavour or just living yeah. in general is is self-doubt and, and negative self belief or talk or whatever you know that shit creeps in man mm-hmm. so if you can find a way to reinforce those positive things whether it's through you know like fucking just being appreciative of your of your situation or you know fucking yeah man it's being re- being really honed in on on a on a focused goal like that's yeah i think that's what it is if someone gets something that they can focus on and really pull themselves into it mm. magic happens you know like that's yeah. what i think you know that's what i yeah, when I fight, I just when I like I feel I look after my last fight. I feel really, really, I feel really, really good about my last fight. You know, like that, like that's that's where I want to be at is that level and doing because like I was doing things that we trained, or doing things that we spoke about. Mm. I was listening, I was there, I could hear everything, I could. I was I was there, you know, like I just wanted to get that zone. I it was an exciting zone, fucking fight, man. Yeah, yeah. man, like Hawaii's fucking no joke, man. Yeah. Ice and cunts, yeah. you know, like we fucking. Yeah, like I was taking him down. I didn't, I didn't took no one down before like yeah. that. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. it was like, cool. I could have done that shit fucking a year ago. Like, you know, like, it's, yeah, it's oh, good. Oh, man, like going go to yeah. war, a bunch of stand-up and then fucking... Yeah, and it was how weird, like I fucking learned from the fight with um, Owen, like in Perth. Like I played his game. I was like, he sort of got to me at the weigh-ins, man. He's like, he said to me, um, I said, like he had a big crowd there from their gym and they were all carrying on and... I hope you don't mind me saying this. Like, it was just funny. It's actually, this is the actual honest to God truth of what happened. <laughs> and they were all carrying on and, um, like, really hard. And I was like, enjoy tonight, man. Like, and looking like, and then I went all cross eyed, like, trying to fucking fuck with his head. And I was like, because tomorrow night's mine. Like, and he's like, fucking, I'm going to send you home. He's Irish. He goes, I'm going to send you home. And I'm like, dude, I'm fucking born in WA. You're Irish. And he's like, I'm going to make you my bitch. And I said, well, fucking see, boy, you know. And then I went to shake his hand and he just like, fucking walked off and didn't shake my hand. And I got fucking really angry, dude. And like, yeah, and I just thought, all right, I want to beat him at his own game. And I just sort of sucked into his jiu-jitsu. And he, that, that part worked for him. He got to me, but no one will ever do it to me again, yeah, you know. Like, so yeah. fucking, yeah, but, um, yeah, that fight, that was the one that then that sort of made me go, oh, wait a minute, you got to get that shit done as well. You know, it's another thing, like, you don't let people rattle you, you yeah, know. Like, and that's yeah. I don't talk shit. I won't talk shit. I respect any kind that I'm fighting, dude. Like, they've obviously got the same passion as me and the same thing. So we've, we're on, we've got something in common. Like, we're on the same same path, you know. Mm. Like, yeah, there's no – there's some good fucking bantamweights out there, man, that I look forward to fighting over the next few years. I know that. Like, And, and, and who who are they, like, in Australia at the moment? Who are sort of, like, the, the premier guys that sort of – Sit at the top of those. Is like the is cage fighting championship still around in Australia? CFC. CFC. No, I think they come back as like super fight or something. Okay. Like that. Okay. Yeah. 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 But fucking. Um, I don't know. There's a few good guys. I can't really say. I, don't know, I can tell you, like Gustavo's the XFC champ. Yeah. Mitch Martin's the eternal bantamweight champ. Yeah. I don't think Hex has a fight. Does like, Australia have a like a, a its own promotion anymore? What, just an Australian one? Just yeah, so, like, like, like a, what, no, like C- CFC used to be or whatever? No, nah, like, no, nah, well, there's heaps more now. They've all come about, you CFA know. They're all different levels. Or it's or like, yeah, there's Nitro. There's so many different yeah, promotions that you yeah, can fight yeah, on, yeah. man. And, like, I'll, put it, I'll fight on any shows, man. Like, mm. if you get the right matches and stuff, they went... I'll bring it. I'll and, fight. You and, know, and, if you're promoters, yo, yo, <laughs> hit me up. Nah. Shout out. No, nah, nearly like, oh, yeah. 
like Cam from Eternal has been really good to me. He's had me there from the start. I think I fought all my fights except for one on his shows, you know. Eternal's really good, good local show. But Eternal's always at the Goldie? Yeah, I fought one of them in Perth. But yeah, most of them are in the okay. Goldie. I think it's yep. going to Adelaide soon as well. It's really good what Cam's doing. Like he's fucking expanding, doing shows like he's doing one in Brisbane like next weekend. Yeah, right. And then, it seems um, like a pretty fucking professionally run ship that he's got. Yeah, man. it's like, quite good, yeah. man. Yeah, he's fucking learning and, and it's quite good. Yeah, he's getting better like... Like he he's the same as us. He's new. He's like the same as us fighters. Man, he's exactly. getting he's getting good at it. Yep. You know, yeah. Like um, yeah. Ben and that and Darren from over in Perth, they're pretty good dudes, man. So fucking they've got the shit going down over there as well. You know, like they've got the cage there and stuff. And like Hex is a big show as well. They're yeah. fighting in Perth now as well. They got a show tomorrow night. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's a few. There's like Brace. Brace have do- adopted different weight cutting things. They've adopted one FC's thing. Like so, okay. yeah. That's just recently. Like so you. You've got to be walking around at your weight, you know, dehydration and shit like that, which is cool. Like, but it's also just a testing. Well, you got to see where you're comfortable at and stuff like that. I think. So yeah, but um, there's so many promotions, dude. Like, yeah. it's just getting the right ones and the good promoters. And so how like do, how does the fight how does the fight come together? You know, who who like assesses whether they're a good matchup for you. In, based on your experience levels and all that sort I know, of stuff. I think like the promoters just sort of speak to Ricky like. Yeah, he's he's really good. Like he's got my fucking, I got a hundred percent trust. He's got in your him, best, you know. Like so, he heart. just puts the fights to me. He says, "Would you fight this guy?" I'm like, yeah, fucking, you know, like we'll do it. Or yeah. whatever. Like, and we just work on dates, and like we sit down with the misses and say, "These are the dates of the shows. This is what we're looking at." We we plan in advance, you know. And yeah, it's all about just getting the right matches, man, and and shit like that. Like a fucking, there's people, they're like. Uh, I don't know. I want to fight good guys with winning records. That's my aim is to yeah. fight guys with yeah. winning records, you know. Yeah. Like if I can so put like a thing on it, you know, I want to fight mm. guys with winning records. Like, yeah, that's, Send that's a message, the best way. Yeah. yeah, no, but that's how it gets. And he just says, he asked me, yeah, hey, do you want to do it? I'm like, yeah, sweet, done. And then fucking we go from there, you know. Like, yeah. Yeah, like I don't sign contracts or anything because I've only been fighting amateur, but the next one will be pro. So I don't know how that works. I don't know how pay works. But fucking... Yeah, I don't know. I want to get on the big shows, man. Like Absolutely, ones, yeah, you man. Know? You, that's yeah. exactly it. You yeah. want to, you know, climb those ranks as fast as possible, yeah, and man. you know, get into those, the, get into those leagues and chase that dream that you were talking about before of tra- yeah. traveling the world and getting Being paid. Those to big do arenas it and, and shit, shit, dude. Like over in Asia and shit, like one of seeing that, like the fucking the hell bad. Like Imagine having that. Lenny Hart call my name, dude, would be pretty cool. You know, like the pride announcer, man. Like that'd be oh. fucking boss. Yeah. What time? Uh, what do you walk out to? What's your jam? I walked if out you... to a few different songs. The first yeah. one I walked out to Smooth Criminal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that yeah, choice. Yeah, you know, like there was that. My Nobody else I grew up, I grew up, love Michael Jackson, man. Seen him. I've seen him when I was like nine years old, dude. Really? Michael Jackson? Bro, I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan. I like that song, man. That was all right until he fingered me. All that aside, he's a hard sell. Go. I liked him even more after that. No, but yeah, that's what he really wanted me over. That's what I walked out to, man. I walked out to. Uh, Michael Jackson bad Nice Fucking ref in the MJ I think twice maybe. Yeah dope Twice What else have I fucking Walked out to man I think it may be even Three times Michael Jackson Dude I reckon Keep that shit Yeah bad Nah the last time I walked out to fucking um, Stuck in the middle With you Clowns on the left Oh really oh, ah, yeah, What a, a stark yeah. comparison you know? Yeah Like fucking I was in, And I've had a few Different songs But I'll try to pick my song and I'm walking out to quite early because it's part of the whole thing, you know. You just, you'd have heard that song before, you know. Yeah. Like that's when it's that's almost when it's go time or when you you just touch the mat, you know, touch yeah. the mat. Yeah, I'm here, you know. <laughs> Rory <laughs> McDonald's like story. <laughs> oh, you hear that, bro? <laughs> 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 Rory, that story. Oh, yeah. Rory's. He got uh, Rory McDonald got stitched up to the point where in North America, man, quite quite often it happens to the point where people. Um, if you go and buy a prepaid phone, you yump, the phone number will have been used before and shit. So Rory McDonald's there, bro, and he goes, um, someone's texting him like... So basically yeah. you'll, you'll, you'll have a number for a little while and then you'll yeah. finish your plan with that company, but that company will reuse that phone number. So whatever number that, like, you know, the dude who picks the music, whatever admin guy from UFC yeah. has for Rory McDonald has since changed hands. So yeah, he's, he, Rory. This person's on Rory's old old phone number, and this UFC exec sends him a message going, "Yo, Rory, it's fucking Shelby." Or like, for, for example, you know, like Rory, it's Shelby. What uh, what what walkout song do you want for UFC two fourteen? And this dude was fucking texting back like Nickelback and all sorts of fucking like heinous, um, heinous and, uh, bands. And, and Rory's like quoted, and because he's such a like sort of like calm sort of. 
you know, low key guy in the first place. He uh, he was actually coming out to um, can't touch this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. MC Hammer, Rory. Yeah, just do, 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 Rory. Do, 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 can't right. touch this. And he reckons he was halfway down the fucking like ramp or whatever. He was sort of like, what? What is this? <laughs> yeah, like yeah. it was kind of distracting. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 he was just like, like, oh, yeah. I thought like you know they picked this shit for you, <laughs> and then this dude whoever's like punking him with the phone has just decided. Like has picked like a couple of tracks like Nickelback yeah, and shit yeah. like that that he got away with, but they just decided to push the envelope a little bit and fucking <laughs> can't fucking touch this. They do your head in too, dude, because that like I was saying, it's part of your exactly. visualization. Other yeah. song comes on, you be like, what? <laughs> 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 can't touch this. Yeah, yeah. 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 I didn't pick this shit. Oh, yeah. 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 Fucking funny. Celine Dion comes <laughs> on, like you just yeah. like. I want to think oh, like a lot of songs go through my head to like things to walk out to, you know? Like it's just um, I think. Just taking, just something that relaxes me, takes me back to just being calm, you know, like, yeah, I don't know. I'll, f- I'll find one one day. I love Robbie Lawler's walkout song. What has yeah, he got? Fucking, uh, oh, dude. I uh, can't even fucking yeah, look uh, it up. Yeah, Sam and, uh, uh, Sam and Dean or something. It's yeah, like, yeah, it's actually good, man. It's awesome, eh? Yeah, like, I can't even remember. I used to listen to it. I've probably got, I got it on my phone, man. I listen to it flat out and I just don't even know what the fucking thing is. Hold on. I'm coming, yeah, yeah hold yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. That's the one. Part of my It's a good jam, man. Singing. Yeah, it's cool. It's a good, like, I like that sort of shit. Tony Ferguson's got a good when, When's Chris Carlos, Con- Con- when's Carlos Condit's um, band, band up? He's not banned, is he? No. No, he's just chilling. Uh, I thought he was close to hung him, man. Yeah, he, much, he yeah. took a lo- he took an L and I think he's uh, Maya. You know, Maya very very hibernating. Yeah, my attacked oh. him after he lost a fucking all mate. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. need to fight. That's yeah. what he said. He goes, I don't need to. He's really He's done a lot of headlining. He's really a lot of title smart. fights and you know, shit, like yeah. yeah, he's he's can be he can walk away. Shit. Shout out that uh MBN. Fucking <laughs> yeah, hell. Yeah. <laughs> it's taking us about fifteen <laughs> minutes to light oh, yeah. up Robbie Law's song. Oh, yeah. It's all right, we figured it out now anyway. It's a really <laughs> yeah. good song. Just look it up. I d- hold I, on, I gotta I'm say, coming I gotta say, by Sam and Dean. I dig <laughs> I dig the like and it's probably like the um, the, U- <laughs> the the WWE like childhood fan in me, but I, I dig when somebody's got a specific theme song. You know, yeah, they come out yeah, to the yeah. same thing every yeah. time. Yeah, I like like it. the Undertaker's yeah, fucking boy, dong. dong oh. and Stone Cold Boy. <laughs> 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 yeah. So like you know, Anderson yeah. Silver's like Bill Withers. Ain't no sunshine <laughs> when he. That was that was yeah, one of the the yeah. best ever. Yeah, when that was good. Yeah. Fuck, was in his prime, that. like, yeah. and he, j- he, j- Faber, he just yeah. came out. California love. But see, then Connors is good too. Connors yeah. is the same. He Connors, sticks to Connors the Connors same. Like, same. Know, He's yeah. changed it a couple of times though. I remember Four. when he came out to Sinead O'Connor. Yeah. He came yeah. out one time to um in Boston the first time, and it was the first time that I I felt like holy shit, we're witnessing a fucking star here. When he fought Seaver. Uh, or Poirier Might have been Seaver, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah In yeah. Boston And he came out to that Dropkick Murphy song The one from The Departed You know that yeah, movie yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio And Jack Nicholas. Yeah. Amazing Yeah And <laughs> fucking Haven't seen it Sorry yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, It's a cracker bro yeah. It's yeah. a fucking yeah. good movie yeah. man yeah. Next yeah. time you're chilling On the couch yeah. hey. Check out The Departed Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, Seriously um, man It's fucking good I'm not a movie buff but This is a good yeah. film man. Nice Who else Ronda Rousey's was pretty like yeah. quintessential for her, yeah. like Susie Quattro. But her walkout was pretty cool too. Like, I, I was a fan of Ronda, man. I was like, this she was always mean, mean she's mugging. pretty cool, Fuck you know. Yeah. I was what, like, cool. was her, but then I realised like, like the world just caught uh, up. Bad reputation. Bad yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Susie um, Quattro, I think. Yeah, even uh, Bisping, Blur song two. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's good. Yeah. Isn't Manchester and shit. Just fucking Bisping, man. I can get down with Bisping, man. I'm a fan. Fuck yeah, man. I'm so happy. I'm so happy he got the title, man. Do you like Bisping? No. Yeah, because he fights. Yeah, yeah. No, I, do, yeah. I like that. He's about a bit him. of a fucking yeah. Like he's, he's trying hard. I he's just trying yeah. really I hard. It's, I think it's like something but natural with Aussies and the British as well, because we've got that colonized <laughs> by them history. There's always yeah. going to be tension with a with a yeah. with a pommy, like in in a in a really That's com- I'd like competitive. I like the fight in paradigm. England. I like the fight the English dudes. That'd they fucking awesome. bring it. Cage warriors and shit like that. I'd have a crack there. Mm, What's his name? Who knows that? Great. Is it Graham Boylan? One of those Yo, things. if you're listening, Graham, yeah. <laughs> bring me over. The yeah. um, the, <laughs> the, definitely is. Man. The tough house <laughs> is is like it's crazy what stars that 
that reality TV show is bred. Like Ke- Kevin Gastelum fighting last week against fucking Weidman. I don't think we've. How we've cool discuss- would that be, dude? Going we've discussed that. that either. Going in the house. Kevin Gastelum was last Fuck picked yeah, on man. his that'd be season. The ultimate test, that'd that'd be, that's, that's, that's a really? fucking yeah. test, dude. Being an ultimate fighter. I think that'd be something where a dude like you would go well, man, because people would mm. see, like, you know, that you come with I'd intensity. Go good, yeah, I'd go good and, enough. You know, you're bringing it. At that's where Feather weight, I wouldn't I wouldn't do it at Bantam, I could do it at Feather. That's where Robert Whitaker got his start. Mm. Yeah. Cause yeah, you'd yeah, have yeah, to um because you'd have I to should do like a featherweight amateurs like this. Right. Because you, you mean know? you'd have to be at that weight for like a long period of time. Yeah, well, I couldn't do yeah. I couldn't do four weight cuts in in six weeks, no way. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. So that's no, what that's shit, brutal no. that tournament format like that. Yeah, that's why a lot of those guys like they'll fight Kelvin Gastelum won at fucking yeah, what, yeah, middleweight. Exactly. And he fought yeah, like he's a one seventy yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know? like, I think yeah. he won at middleweight. He was last yeah, yeah, he was he was last pick like one eighty five. Yeah. Oh dude. <laughs> yeah, go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's an animal. Boy. Even Kenny Florian was on that season, man. He was yeah, one forty-five. He fought eighty-five to try and yeah. get in the like get exactly. in the UFC. Man, what a badass, man! Exactly. It's crazy, yeah. Like all Kenny that Florian. That show is good, man. That show is good. Fort Aldo. Well, that contender series. They did a um. They did an Australia versus UK one. Do you remember that one? The Smashes. Yeah, Smashes. Yeah, yeah, Ross Pearson. That's yeah. one. Yeah. That was one that Rob won. That's the one Rob won. Yeah, Rob won it. Yeah, fuck yeah. 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 Who did he fight for the in the final for that? I don't know. Another Rosie, I think. No, Another Rosie? wasn't. No, nah, I didn't. Would have been a geezer for sure. Mm. Yeah, I can't remember. Eh, I think I might be thinking of Nations. Is yeah. that was that against Canada? Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they did a couple. They did a couple of seasons of yeah. like uh, Canada versus the States or whatever. Dan Kelly. Yeah, I, 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 I must admit I haven't watched um, the Ultimate Fighter in in a long time. You know, it, it's yeah, a. I've lo- been watching the more recent ones. Like yeah, I watch. I watch Connor and Faber, that was funny. You know what season yeah. I fucking really dug was, uh, I think it was 12 with um, Jonathan Brookins and yeah. Uh, yeah, Bruce Leroy. Um, I think Michael Johnson was on yeah, that. Yeah, he was. He was. Alex Caceres. Well. Were they all on that? Yeah. Oh, Brookins, nice. man. He... Yeah, see, I sort of missed out in a few years when I was just like off the planet, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, like I missed out on a lot of UFC and stuff then. I sort of followed it early and then like, yeah, drifted off. But Where's since I've been here, finale, yeah, I go no. deep now. Robert, who's is this Robert Whitaker? Yeah, it probably yeah, wouldn't even be on there. Though. They don't put it on there. Wouldn't be listed as like pro on his record. Would it? Oh, oh no, no, see, oh, no, they're no, not. They're not listed on your record. No, the what are fighter houses aren't. I think. Yeah. The, oh I no, think no, the yeah, they're not. Nah. Yeah, they're not. The wins, not. the wins are. I think. No, no, no. None of those um, ultimate fighter. Uh, I mean, not in, the, in wins, the house. Sorry, ones. the fucking final finale is. I think. Yeah, I think the finale would be. Finale would be for sure. Yeah, that was Scott. it, Bradley Scott. Soteropolis Pearson. Yeah. That was definitely it. Because yeah. they were George. the coaches. Yeah. Shout out, George. Shout out, George. Yeah. George. Yeah. George is my homie, man. Yeah. <laughs> Bro- Bryce, like, uh, started emailing George Soteropolis, like, probably... 10 maybe years ago? S- oh, maybe... 2011, maybe? 2011. Really? 2011. So, like, yeah. Well, when, when was that fight? Around Six then, or bro. seven. Oh, uh, like, yeah. Seven. No, bro. Earlier than that. Seven years ago, yeah. like, I um, started emailing him and, like, George Soteropoulos just started emailing him back and they've like, nice. just been, like... Nicest co- dude ever. Nicest well, dude ever, like, quite about, um, and shit. I inquired about merchandise, man. I was like, anywhere I can get a T-shirt from you, like, think I'm emailing the website. He replies back off his own private Yahoo, like, it's coming soon, blah, 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 man. Long story short. That was 2012, the Pearson fight. Yeah, it'd be probably even 2010 then, maybe, before that. Maybe when he was beating, like, Joe Daddy and stuff. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was it was when he's yeah, on the rise, yeah, man. Yeah, man. It was yeah. when he was on and, the rise. Uh, he looked like a crow. He reminded oh, me of a dude, crow. He's, yeah. yeah. He had this big crazy, chest. With that crazy weird chest. Yeah. Weird, <laughs> weird like, gait on him. can't say. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, weird yeah. concave yeah. chest and stuff. No, no, it protruded, I forget. It just always... um. Always email back, mate. Or send it, send like Merry Christmas emails and shit. Yeah, like, that's pretty mate. cool, eh? Nothing, man. <laughs> what a down to earth dude, man. He's like, listen, um, if I'm if you're ever in Melbourne, mate, be sure to uh, drop me a line and uh, I'll do the same if I ever get to Brisbane. I'm like, fuck yeah. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to get you on the uh, get for him on sure. the podcast for big, sure. Big, <laughs> big, <laughs> yeah. big George Soteropoulos. What's he doing yeah. now? He's coaching probably. Surely. Yeah, he's got his Should own be. gym. Yeah, good. got his own gym and family and that. Nah, that's cool. Wrong yeah, Whitaker. Rob, yeah. He's going to merc Brisbane, Brisbane when they fight. He can get it. Yeah. That's a winnable yeah, fight for him. It. Absolutely. I don't it's, 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 a, it's a funny lose funny, fight for him. Funny that, um, <laughs> that he whole... Will, he will win that fight. Like, that whole GS, really good. GSP, Biscuit, Bisping, like Dana White thing at the moment where like Bisping and uh, GSP want to fight each other but Dana says like no, G- G- GSP yeah. is going to fight G- the winner of like Damian Meyer and yeah. Woodley. And Imagine Woodley. if he gets Woodley first one back in. Yeah. That's, a, uh, that's a tough night. 
George. You know, <laughs> yeah, like, fucking open. You know, oh. Woodley, like, yeah. real so you active just, time. So you just realise, like, do, do you think that Woodley's going to beat mine? Um, yeah, I'd, I would hey. say, yeah. Hey. I, I would say <laughs> Woodley is an absolutely deserved favourite, but if Mike can just be that wet blanket for You can't 20, be that by far. You can't be like that. Woodley. Yeah, you got, yeah the, Woodley. That's... Yeah. yeah, don't, who's, say, don't who's, be a fence setter. Who's, who's gonna win? Like, yeah. yeah, that's it. Who's gonna yeah. win? Wood, Woodley. Yeah, yeah. If someone goes, here's twenty five grand. You got to go to the cast and have a have a yeah. lash yeah. On, on that fight. Yeah. It's Woodley. I find myself doing this all the time. Who? Oh, this guy. Oh, yeah, no. Who the fuck's gonna win? I want this one to win, but that one might. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Who's gonna yeah. win? Yeah, could be, yeah it's could hard, be, isn't uh, it? Good, good to have. It's good to have invested emotion in the outcome. Yeah, it's you cool. Just, you're, it doesn't you're, mean like yeah, you yeah. can't still go for the other guy. You can still go for him and want him to win, but. Like your heart of hearts is saying Because you exactly. do you that's you, Oh is that your heart of hearts Or your brain That's your brain saying yeah. that one, isn't it That's DC Jones for me bro Or, or you is know? it your I don't know what part of it Is that saying that Yeah DC right, yeah. Like, where It's your deep Your gut In your nuts Yeah Because yeah. Oh, yeah, 25 <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. You want that yeah. fucking money man. Yeah, 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 You are it. doing What you <laughs> truly <laughs> believe Will happen <laughs> For sure So just yeah Just don't even try And convince yourself Otherwise no. <laughs> You're just lying to yourself and, yeah, and, <laughs> It's it's kind of like that For me for The Floyd Mayweather Conor McGregor fight There's Fuck! I, just, I, I don't. I don't know. There's part of me that like, I, I just want to see fucking action. Coy, Connor way. or Floyd? Connor or Floyd? Who's gonna win? Connor I think Connor's gonna win. Yeah, I, th- I think yeah. Connor's gonna win. But there's a part of me that like wouldn't mind seeing Floyd win either. Like nah, I don't yeah. know. See, that's, I don't know. That's <laughs> the fucking. That's, that's uh, traitor yeah. talk. That's uh, gay yeah. talk, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a weird shit. Uh, nah. Isn't it funny there's how some... like invested you get with one side though? Like fucking. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. Like, it's um. It is like it's I something. Fucking, yeah, I've always no, frothed, I honestly frothed think Connor's gonna like, do it. Like, I really yeah. do think Connor's gonna do it. It's nice. gonna be like in fifty years' time, we'd be like, "Do you remember that Connor McGregor boy? God, he was good, wasn't he?" Like, yeah. like well, we're, you know, when we're talking about Connor, like motherfuckers talk about Muhammad Ali. Mm. You know, like they're different, different parallels, generation. but it's just the, just the way it is. You know, like mm. yeah. I, I truly believe that he's fucking. He's definitely ri- He's special, isn't he? Risen, don't you reckon? Risen yeah, man. In I, I, don't very reckon alone, you I don't think you're alone. I don't think you're alone in that sentiment either. Yeah, like, like he's, yeah, he's something fucking different. <laughs> yeah, he? yeah. And he's smart, dude. Like you see all the shit that he's doing. How much he's getting promoter money, man, from that fight. Mm. Mm. He's getting, you know, he's not getting, like he's making a lot of money off a that fight, money, dude. Like yeah. a lot more than the fucking the purse, like mm. a lot more. And he's got these. Conditioning program that he's just like he's released yeah, yeah. that shit. Yeah, he'd be yeah, making like, a fucking mint off that. You think people aren't buying that? He's importing fucking, fucking cars and shit. Like he's really smart. That's what I. He's really special like that as well. Yeah, like you know, man. Yeah. I, I no, I could be. Paying I wouldn't him know what the fuck load. to do with that much money, dude. I would not have any idea what the yeah. fuck I'd do. No one would. He was there Until the other day. Get a financial plan. He'd be sweet. Until yeah. yeah. <laughs> at this meeting uh, today, the other day, man, he's talking about with that August dude that makes all of his suits. They're going to start their own clothing line, and he's there saying. You know, he's quoting off different companies and shit like that. He's like, and the, what their gross net profits were and shit, like per per year. He says that switched onto the game in the cash. And he's like, they made sixty six million last year, that financial year. He goes, we're going to start to mine line stores too. Don't you worry about that. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah, 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 fucking yeah. hell! It's crazy, like this yeah. dude is striking while the iron's hot. Yeah, yeah. and he's four yeah. years ago, he's on a fucking job site in uh, like Dublin. Yeah, yeah. Like it's uh, yeah, that's what I mean. You know, and and it's like it can happen, fucking. Basically that quickly, but like obviously it's not that quickly because there's all this hard work that goes in in the, in the background that you've yeah, been fine for see. twelve years. But yeah. you can get you can get like you know overnight overnight sensation just happens fucking after you've been grinding for years and years and years. Yeah. Like yeah. and he, and he's just experienced that and and you know he is a smart motherfucker, but you can't totally forget the fact that. With all of that money and status and shit comes teams of talented people. And all of a sudden you've got fucking the world's best business advisors, lawyers, fucking all these people around you. And it's like, no, 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 you are a fighter, but hey, we can sell fucking training programs, shirts, fucking video games, everything. Yeah, but see, that's the thing. I think he... Don't, he had all this shit in his head before those people even come near him. Oh, I'm sure. Like yeah. he, he yeah. seems to have. I that, really think that, he did. That like, mentality yeah, of like, sure. you know, sky's the limit. Whatever, it. I'll take yeah. it on. Yeah. He like, follows yeah. that the secret man, capitalist you know, mentality secret, man. Law of yeah. Yeah. yeah, I watched he that lies, the yeah. early YouTube doco, the mm. notorious, notorious one or whatever. When he'd still, I think he'd only fought Max Holloway at that. Yeah, point. Yeah, he's making movies, man. Like he's yeah. making movies about mm. his life. He's fucking smart. Like Bryce, he said, striking while the iron's hot. You know, like I mean, just you know. It's pretty cool. I'd love to make that much money, but fuck that. Yeah. I'd be happy just to make fucking 
a couple hundred thousand dollars a year for the next five years, six years, seven shit years, or whatever, yeah. you know? Like, oh, yeah, fucking I, would, I wouldn't shit complain yeah. with that either. Three or no four one fight, would. I'd fight no three fights would. a year for to earn a hundred grand, man. Three, a hundred <laughs> grand a year is fine for me mm-hmm. while I'm doing this shit. Yeah. You know, I can get in front of that. <laughs> three fights, four fights for 30 grand. Sweet. It'd be fucking boss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just doing <laughs> what you train, like. Fucking train, fight, train, fight, like, you know? And just make sure you budget that shit out so you oh, make last year the year. You're doing all right. Yeah. <laughs> like, win, just for you know, that's win, what you're yeah, gonna do. Is that's, win, that's lose, good. or draw for him. I I fucking can't wait for him to come back to MMA at some point because some of the dudes waiting for him there is just unbelievable. Like, mm. The prospect of watching him versus Khabib, Tony Ferguson, or even Nate again if you could get Nate up for it. Oh, yeah, well, that'll happen, dude. Because that's what to. he'll be any, taking the money for. Any, has has like, any of those know? guys would accept a fight yeah. with him. Did you like say that? last week he could come back and? F- Ask for GSP, GSP. Yeah, I said potentially that he, he go may be one seventy. That would be a big fucking. That, that would be massive. He can so ask huge. for whoever he wanted. Yeah, yeah like, nah, but Connor's not a real one seventy. Yeah, he's not a one seventy. To be fast and good, he's got to be like. And George is a fucking big one seventy. Yeah, yeah. One six. Mm. Connor, if they put in one sixty, one seventy, Connor will have like one fifty five to one seventy. Pretty much, he'll win all them belts. <laughs> like he'll yeah. beat all those guys. I reckon. Mm. He's pretty fucking good. He started calling out Woodley somewhat like in a few <laughs> yeah, years. Oh, yeah. I think he should come back and fight Nate because that needs to happen sooner rather than later. Yeah. It needs I, don't to happen. I don't no, know. No, because everyone, I, I will, everyone will be like, no, he's got the belt. Yeah, I'm honestly like, not the biggest fan of rematches, eh? Like, you know, when they originally made this, this nah, bro, DC call. Nah, bro. It's 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, when they you got to go yeah. a third. That's just how it works. Know. A fight like, it's a like, fight a fight. like John Jones, yeah. Daniel Cormier, when it was just so one-sided... You know, all of the drama and the hype and the marketing and the fucking videographers that they've got working on this thing has definitely got my, you know, attention fucking real keen again for this fight. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't was know. the actual fight some, worth a rematch? Some, something about like was it, was rematches there any that I'm about, not into. Hey, yeah, I know what you mean. Was there sort any question of, about yeah. they're for, they're, I want to see new shit. Their uh, hand, this is, their hand it's is forced new. here. It's always yeah. new, I guess. Yeah. Their hand is forced here, though. With the state of the division, because Jones has been out. Yeah. DC now has the belt. Yeah, Jones it just wants happened the belt. that way. He yeah. has to go yeah. through yeah. that way. But yeah. it's like a forced rematch. Yeah, if for this, sure. Um, I understand all. I hope uh, there's a bit of shit around on like MMA forums and shit this week too of like Brock and John mentioning each other's names a little bit. Yeah, what the fuck, shit. man? What do you reckon? <laughs> oh, that's just. Fuck. Oh, dude, I would Where's watch WrestleMania? That, I'd watch that fight in a heartbeat. Man, of course, we that would. Was, uh, of course, happen. we would. He's up for steroids. John Jones beats DC. The UFC doesn't need to bring that. Steroid using the fucking cunt back. But, in. He, but if he does, he's done like his suspension. It's probably they, they, it no, seems like it, dude. It they, seems like they the almost cunts, let him. The cunt that are getting time. done should just fucking go. Like, Banned. Um, yeah. I don't like it. No, I don't oh, like no. It. And fair I really enough too. Like in combat yeah. sports enhancements, yeah, that's not yeah. play on at all. It's not cool, no. eh? Like. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. But the, <laughs> it's like really cycling and shit, hey, if everyone's on the gear, then hey, we're just riding yeah, bikes. Yeah, yeah, but riding bikes, you know, hurt some other cunt. And it and it's just weak too, dude. Like, because you don't know. They know deep down that they didn't really do it. You know, yeah. that's it. it's, it's going against it, and it's just going to fucking bite them in the ass, dude. Because I'll fucking beat a couple of dudes on the juice. I don't care. I've, I, mean, I don't really, I don't think too much about it. But cunts probably do do it. I don't think I've ever fought anyone that's on it at all. But it does happen. Mm. You know, like mm. but fucking, I don't really see it. But seems to yeah. burn, burn the du- burn the the dudes that seem to have gotten on it like hard seem to burn out way quicker. You know, like the beat. Yeah, you look at the fights years ago, dude. Stuff. Look at the yeah. fights like this five years ago. Like, Sean Shirt. You look at it now and, and you just realize, like, oh, Jesus Christ, they were juiced up, weren't they? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Melvin like Gall- Every one of them, dude. Melvin Glad. Like, <laughs> and the Diaz brothers were right when they said yeah. everyone Allegedly. was on steroids because they, they were. This week on Under the <laughs> Jonathan Who's Hendricks. Yeah. Hey, Melvin Gillard's fighting fucking In Ars- Israel out of Sanya tonight. Yeah. Hey, tonight is that really? right now. Really? I was the biggest <laughs> Melbourne fan Since Ultimate that? Fighter 2 <laughs> right. man. Yeah, fuck. Google that yeah, How did we get that up man I've watched that <laughs> Young so Assassin uh, that's, yeah. at, that's at 85 Yeah so Melvin like, yeah. Melvin would be In terrible nick Soft 85, 85 Melvin. Very soft 85 <laughs> Yeah 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 Jeezy could crack though um, what yeah. is Jeezy could crack Fucking Him versus Israel, Israel, awesome. Israel said Israel reckons Oh He's an Amber Rose looking motherfucker. Ah. <laughs> like that that died hair. Amber, Amber Rose look like fucking. Oh, that's some funny shit. That, that's <laughs> a mean <laughs> bunch of killers over there, man. In um, at that city FC, kickboxing AFC gym. AFC, it is right. Hey. Australia FC. Yeah, that's AFC. Should I even know his father? The, the young assassin. Oh, oh no, 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 different. Yeah, he bloke, just got flown in. Bloke. Like he got flown. No, nah, Melbourne Gillard. 
is actually in. He flew in like late replacement. Dylan Andrews was meant to fight. That's someone. right. That's no, no, no. right. He wasn't meant to fight Izzy. He was meant to fight someone else. Yeah. And then Izzy jumped in, and then Dylan got hurt. And yeah. Then this guy jumped in. I think. Can you just like? Can you just click on things and just stream them on online? I guess I obviously they're oh, probably going to want payment on. for this. I'd yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, You've yeah. Got to yeah, get it yeah. off the ground somehow. Yeah. Twenty eighth. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that's another show, like Australian show that you can fight on. Yeah. AFC. I would fight on AFC. That's yeah. They're all. There's a difference. There's like some lots of pro am shows, like Eternal and that are mostly pro am shows, and then yeah. there's like a few all pro shows. Yeah. Yeah. Know? So like yeah. I wouldn't mind fighting on the all pro ones, like eventually as well, you know. And I think Eternal's heading that way. Shit, like, man. Yeah. Shit. Look at that size difference Big just size there, difference. man. What weight is this? Uh, 84. 80, yeah. yeah 85. 185. Holy shit. Yeah. See, that's, that's a, a that's a big dude. Is he big dude? Although from that Mel- a, from Melbourne's that angle, thick. for that angle, <laughs> from that, from that <laughs> thicker than the bowl old man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> from that angle, he looks all he's like he's in okay nick. He looks bul- bulky. Hey. Old uh, Amber Rose has got a bigger seat than that. He's got about, he's got about, <laughs> he's got about four right hands left in those arms. Yeah, exactly. He's like, like arm. <laughs> he's got four right hands left in his left arm. Other dude just looks like he's got absolute reach over him for days. A welterweight tournament. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's a boss like that Hoshi, uh, Hoshi Free Friedrich and Anton Devere. That's a good fight. But so many fights going on that you just have no idea about, you know, at all. Jamie times. Renouf. So many. Jamie Renouf so is pretty many. good. Incredible. But Joel Kendrick's good. Yeah, there's a few good fights on there. Stephen Theolos. And do they do they sell like um? Uh, uh, is it similar to the boxing where you get like a table? Like up close to the the cage and stuff, and yeah, um, there's tables, and then there's I don't the, my missus does all the tickets. She don't okay. She handles all that for me, man. Like I'm fucking hopeless with it, dude. Yeah, she handles it, so I couldn't really tell you much. But yeah, do, there's do, tables. There's, I know there's tables and chairs and in the, the venue. Do she <laughs> does she does she go along and watch? Yeah, she's yeah. fucking been to all of them, mate. She had yeah, my little girl at the last one. Really? Yeah, she come there just for the fight, pretty much. Or she sat there, yeah, waited for the fight. And, I actually come in the cage, it was pretty cool. Oh, man. She said, I never want to get in the cage, but I was just like, come in. Like, you get on the hell high, you know? It was yeah. just really cool, man, because like, they, they went away and they come back pretty much fight week. They got back on Saturday, the Saturday before the fight. Yeah. So I had them there for the week and, um, yeah, she was there the whole time. With the cage. Nice. That way. My little youngest, two, my two and a half year old, went to someone's house for the night. Our friends um, had her for the night, which is pretty cool. Then, um, what age is your kids again? Sorry, uh, Tiger Lily is three in September next month. A few weeks, fuck. Bluebell, <laughs> just, and Bluebell, the youngest one, just turned uh, one. About yeah, last month. So two one. daughters, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old. Yeah, dude, fucking. What's fatherhood like, bro? Ah, uh, I love it, man. It's really good, really fucking good fun. It's pretty cool. Like it makes you sort yourself out, and it's just you just turn into a different person, man. It's good fun. Yeah. I get frustrated too. I'm just like, ah. <laughs> I don't really yell at them, but I'm just like, you have to, you have to literally calm yourself down so much because they're just like full on, you know. It's true. But they're fucking just the best things, man. Like, it's just really, really, really good fun, you know. You're, you're the world. I'm the world, you know. Tiger Lily, like mad daddy's girl, because Bluebell came and she sort of clung to me because Bluebell's with the mum, you know. And and it's got a really good mum. Like their mum's, she's an awesome mum, you know. So it makes it easy for me. I can go to work and I can go to training, like. It's hard, it's hard on her, man, like, but she handles it really well because she knows I like it, so it helps a lot, and then we just make the most of the time that we do have, you know, when I'm, when I'm not in fight camp and shit like that, and then, um, yeah, it's, it's tough, man, but it's good, I love it, it's, it's good fun, you get it. like, no matter what happens in the fight, I'll go home, and my kids are my fucking kids, and I'm still dead to them, that's what really matters, mm. that's, that's my grounding thing, I guess, you know, like, and it's good to have them there, because it takes, like, takes me away from that, you know, like, when I'm with them, I'm with them, so... Yeah, it's pretty cool. I really, really enjoy it. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. He, yeah. We, she wants more now. I said, oh, in a few years, you know, we'll wait. Wait a few years and then have, have a couple more. She wants like four, five, so. God. Yeah. I, pretty I, gnarly, you know. That's why I've got uh, to make some fucking money with these fights <laughs> <laughs> and just scare away all these yeah. boys if I keep having girls, you know. Yeah. Is, yeah. It, is it trippy to see somebody like, obviously, you've got a three-year-old now, somebody sort of continue to grow into this person of their own and oh, start do, yeah. becoming more and more like, you know, walking and talking and all that oh, sort of man, stuff. Oh, man, that's the funniest part. That's the funniest <laughs> part. Like, they're, they're, she's so funny, man, Tiger Lily. She's just classic. She speaks really well for her age, apparently, like, you know, and 
I'm just like a hell biased dad. She's she's really smart. She's gifted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she's just really funny. Like really, uh, she has moods and she's emotional. And sleep affects them, and food affects them, and like you literally have to fucking yeah. You know, I'm responsible yeah. for how she lives, how she feels, and how she sleeps and shit like that. So it's um it's pretty hard. But she's pretty smart. She listens to me, you know. But then she just doesn't listen as well. You know, like, <laughs> they're yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. You it's wait, good. dude. You'll find out, man. Oh, like yeah. toddlers. A fucking gnarly. It's like, and then it's three year olds are even worse. Like she's nearly three, man. So fucking yeah. Now we've got like yeah, they're twenty two months apart or something like that. So just under two years, you know. But they're fucking funny. They're fucking funny, man. They no. wrestle and fight and shit. Tiger, they come up the gym. She like Tiger's been coming to the gym for ages. You know, she loves it. She's probably start jujitsu maybe next year. She, she jumped on a couple look of her kids' out. classes, you know, like Fuck yeah, yeah and they've got <laughs> Ricky's got them both for their first birthdays or whatever, token punt boxing gloves and they put them on and shit. It's actually really funny, man. Like yeah. you can make my kids fight, you know, yeah. they yeah. fucking yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah. it's just really cool like to know that they're gonna grow up around martial arts. Exactly. That's I love it dude, like because we see we have some kids at our gym that are fucking really good kids, you know, and they've been I find out that they've been around martial arts for a long time, you know. Shout out Dan Evans, that kid. <laughs> He's mm. like, I thought I model my, I want my kids to be like Dan Evans. <laughs> Just let that be on the record. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's been How old training. Is Dan Evans? He's been training since he was like five. Started at Puma, like, and then he's now he's been at Empire since I've been there as well. But he's all the way through. He's about, I think he's like nineteen. He's just at uni. Oh, so I think okay. he's starting to be a doctor or something, dude. Yeah. But he's just a real good kid, you know, real good kid. Yeah, and nice. Like so I I put a lot of it down to like his parents being. Having him involved in martial arts and around kids, and you know, and then, and then bringing him up the right way as well. So I'm trying to do that. You know? And it's like you know, as as it's becoming more and more mainstream, I reckon there's going to be fucking way way more people getting their kids involved in martial arts and shit. We're going to see, yeah, some crazy evolution of the sport in yeah. fucking coming. As long decades, as it's getting man. done the right way, mm. you know, like I can imagine there's going to be a lot of gyms out there that are fucking pretty, pretty brutal. You know, different, you know, like I know our gym is fucking sweet. You know, like Ricky's really, really good. And, you know, he's got a whole bunch of other coaches that help run the kids' classes and the adults' classes. And we've got boxers and shit like that as well. You know, we've got a good amateur boxing team. They're ripping in. Guys competing in jiu-jitsu regularly, you know. Guys like me fighting just regularly. I don't do the other comps. I probably should, but <laughs> I just got to work into them, you know. But, um, yeah, it's like fighting... Yeah, Ricky's a big part of me being where I'm at. Massive part, you know. So, yeah, shout out to him. No, he's a good, he's a good dude, man. Absolutely. Yeah. And and we were only talking about the other day too. Like when you d- – these boys watched a documentary on like parents that – that overcoach their kids. And oh, just, yeah, you know, trophy, trophy kids. kids. Yeah, dude. Oh, have you seen it, dude? That. Have you oh. seen it? Holy oh. shit. Oh, that shit makes Shout me Shout out trof- like, trophy kids on Netflix. Can these cunts be fucking... Are they serious? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, it is off tap. Right. I haven't seen Anybody who hasn't seen, seen, seen it. No. It's almost like um, a part of it for me is almost like watching animal cruelty videos. It's like, yeah. oh, fuck. I don't know if I can withstand watching this fucking dude, guy. Go to, like, go to a... Um, Go to a jiu-jitsu comp. <laughs> hey, hey, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Some, yeah, go to a jiu-jitsu comp. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Like ju- kids' jiu-jitsu comp. Yeah. yeah. Just, I, I, just I even remember playing, playing rugby as a kid and shit. There was always those one or two parents that would just... You yeah, could, dude, you could yeah. hear them from fuck the sideline all game. Man, I, For 60 minutes, football. you're just like, man, I, would this guy's football. dad shut the yeah. fuck up? I was like, like the umpire, the referee dude for like under eight and I was probably 12. I've done it for like 12 times, 12, 13, 14, 15, so umpired footy. Yeah. And I used to get abused the fuck out of my parents and shit. And I just <laughs> literally, I just wouldn't even know how to react. <laughs> I just remember thinking, is this my look? Is this cunt for real? What? Like, <laughs> is this play on? Like, I, like, I was still you like, blind cunt? Dude, I speak like, now like I spoke when I was fucking eight years old. Like, like I was, I was, is this cunt for real or what? Like, that's like how I fucking always like spoke and thought yeah, to myself. This is, this like my, my inner voice has always <laughs> been that, sorry. Not, yeah. not out, you know, but fucking, yeah, it's pretty funny. And that shit's for real, man. Like you go to a fucking jiu-jitsu comp, you'll, you'll see some shit. Or you'll hear it at fights, you know, amateur boxing fights or fucking shit like that. It's pretty G- lethal. I like. guess because the people that tend to frequent like a martial arts event as well, like – they're all interested in martial arts yeah. too. So yeah. you know, like you got yeah. a bunch of people there that can ba- that back themselves. Yeah. Dude, I've seen videos of my family watching me fight, 
And stuff like that And oh. fuck I turned the volume down Because it's so I can't listen to it Because it's so <laughs> funny <laughs> Do you have brothers <laughs> It is hilarious dude. Do you have brothers what do you and mean? sisters Yeah I've got An older sister Tarrant Who's like Two years older than me I'm a brother Brent Who's probably about two years younger than me And then a younger brother Cody Who's like 25, 26 And do like they that. scrap? No No, 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 no. Right. Brent plays footy oh, He's a really good footballer He's playing local footy And he's working He's got a couple of kids and stuff as well And um Cody runs his business. He just, yeah, he's yeah. a fucking a full on business doing ceilings and shit, plastering, man. Cool. Yeah, he's just killing it. Cool, yeah. cool. Where yeah. do you fit into the mix? Where, where are you? Well, sort of like in terms of, oh, sorry, did you say you're middle? <laughs> no, yeah, I'm older sister and two younger brothers. I'm second brother. oldest. Oh, right, second oldest. Yeah, I'm yeah. second oldest. You made me think now. I was like, where, where yeah. am I? <laughs> I'm the middle child. No, I'm not the middle child. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I'm the second oldest. I'm the oldest boy. So I'm like the man, the big boy, you know, yeah, but I'm not right. really. Like they got their shit together more than me. Fucking know if they do, like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but so. they still know who who'd put a whooping on them. Yeah, fuck <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, see, uh, like, I, we had some fucking uh, mad fights growing up, you know, like, yeah, and we just fucking yeah. fought other cunts and shit. We, yeah, it was pretty crazy, man. The shit that we <laughs> had like quite violent fights as a child. I did. Really? <laughs> yeah. 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 That's the best way I can describe it, you know. Quite violent fights as a child, like. Really weird <laughs> shit Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, like gnarly, eh oh. And then like there was times When I was 16, 17 Going to parties every weekend And just fight all the time Yeah like, Every week, man I was, yeah Just had that, like that Yeah, fighting with cops switch. and shit Just oh. two of them Like full on just bogan Yobbo Just a real shithead, man Like, <laughs> man, shithead <laughs> thing Like dog shot and coppers Like just like running up behind cops And king hitting them and shit Like what? this What? Yeah, man, ridiculous <laughs> stuff, like ridiculous stuff, and I fucking got in trouble for it all, man. Like I've got a fucking criminal record. Oh, Jesus, like, you know? it's bro. fucking yeah, that's like, crazy. That's some really, bro. really stupid stuff. That like, is crazy, and that's why I've stopped drinking. You know, I haven't. You know, that's what it was. Alcohol was the thing that set me off. You know, some people are allergic to prawns. I'm allergic to alcohol. Some yeah. people make sick. It makes me do stupid shit like that. Yeah. Just like literally lose all. Because when I'm sober, I'm fucking, I was always fine. But when I was drunk, dude, I was just a fucking, wow. just turned into a different person. Wow, yeah. man. Your alter wow. ego is weird. It happens. Yeah. Really, really, it really, happens. really weird, man. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. And, and good on you for realising that. Yeah, you I'm know? pretty lucky. I mean, I yeah. Think, yeah, I think, and health-wise too. Like, if I kept drinking the way I was drinking, man, I would fucking, I was, I would be in a bad way. Mm. You know, like, <laughs> when I, yeah, I was in a bad way, like, <laughs> already, like, just from doing it. But yeah, it's fucking. I'm glad I give it up, and it works. Like everyone's like, "Oh, you must have want a beer after." I'm like, "No, I don't drink." I'm like what? And like I'm so lucky with fighting that a lot of the guys. One of the things they first wanted to be, you know. Mm. I don't. It's not a thing I have to deal with. So yeah, I'm pretty lucky like Mad. that, you know. Mad. Pretty good, yeah. So what what is your like? What is your vice? Do you like Danny asked you before? But like, do you like hook into pastor or do you hook into like what do you what do you Fuck, dude! I just get. Uh, I've done with? all different things, man. Hey, I love chocolate um, and shit. There's a fucking um, restaurant. There's a burger place called Easy Street on the Gold Coast. I've been there a couple of times after fights. I think I know the. Always guy. a burger. I think a burger goes down all right. You know, that's the fucking way. Yeah, yeah. I'm the same, man. If it's yeah. something salty, I'm not so much a sweet tooth, but like burgers and pizzas yeah. and that yeah. that shit. Like, and don't get me wrong, I have like after that's my, what first, I crave. my first fight, boy, I just fucking ate like. All the worst shit you could possibly <laughs> eat. Like just processed sugar and stuff like that. Yeah. And just learn what it does to my body. Like just go from yeah. KFC to Hungry Jacks yeah, to Maccas yeah. for breakfast. Yeah, it's sort of like that, eh? And just but I slowly get getting better each time, man. Yeah. Isn't it crazy how it's just this cra- like insane sort of hijack of the senses? Like everything from the yeah. the colors of the lights and the packaging and fucking all that shit. And it's yeah. just like you eat it and you're feeling this. Euphoric rush when you're just hooking into a Big Mac yeah, and, weird, you, and you play on through the <laughs> chips and you and like smash that watered down Coke. You're like, fuck, that was good. And then within about like 15, yeah. 20 minutes, you're like, oh, fuck, I'm a piece of shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. I feel fucking one thing, terrible. dude, I haven't drank Coke in fucking years. Yeah. Yeah, since I've been. The, the I realized that quite early yeah. that that wasn't good for me, you know? Like, mm. But yeah, fuck and yeah. yet lots of people don't know that. Fucking yeah. lots of people yeah. don't know that. Or don't care because of how good Coke tastes. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. I know heaps of people like that. It's yeah. Funny, oh, yes. definitely. Yeah, I've, I've, I've see people at my work or. You know, people I know like hooking into Pepsi Max, you know, early in the mornings and stuff, and you just think, oh, what are you doing? You know? 
<laughs> Monster yeah. Energy can yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and two durries. And I, I would not uh, minus the two durries. Like when it back in labouring days and stuff like that. That's exactly how I'd go to labouring. Yeah, it's you like know, the like is net. stop at the servo and get like cans of v, like V or like Red Bull or get get a couple of them <laughs> and just like punch them down yeah. and. Hey. No, I used to fucking do furniture removals and I work with this 52-year-old dude from um, New Zealand called Roscoe. Shout out, <laughs> shout out Roscoe. No, he was such a fuckwit, man. He was just <laughs> like <laughs> an absolute fucking dickhead to work oh, with, man. Like he used to tell like tell clients oh. that he'd fucking ba- he'd like been a backpacker for most of his life. True story was he just came over here from New Zealand and he'd done like a little bit of backpacking through Australia like in in his late adulthood. And he used to carry around a photo of of this like Swedish girlfriend air quotes that he fucking had that was literally a photo of like a 17 year old girl and shit <laughs> and he used to show clients and stuff like that and be like oh yeah that's my girlfriend like and and all this sort of stuff and fucking anyway Roscoe <laughs> <laughs> that's really, I can't really remember funny. where I was going with Roscoe Ro- no, Ro- no, Roscoe's no, a pedophile yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Roscoe used to stop the truck at um at this like dirty greasy little hot box every morning and get like a battered sav and fucking something yeah. else good. fucking want something mate I'm like I don't want any of that shit <laughs> <laughs> it's six o'clock yeah. in the morning and yeah. you're eating this disgusting <laughs> fucking yeah. deep fried frozen piece the of ch- shit chalky yeah. milk like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just before we're about to go fucking like move somebody's house and do a bunch of physical activity for like three hours straight. Like, <laughs> fuck, dude. Like, yeah, like, within, when you think about it like that. Within like, 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to need to use your shit up. Yeah. <laughs> such a fuck with this bloke. <laughs> Oh, dude. Like, excuse it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it's happened. It's happened before yeah. where oh. I've, I've basically been at like gonna ship my pants status and I've had to like use somebody's toilet. Me too, man. Oh, me too. Dur- during a house move. Me too. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely how I've had to take a shit yeah. during people's house, mo- yeah. like d- during moving here. Like, hang on a yeah. second, man. I need to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whereabouts is your bathroom? Excuse- exactly. <laughs> excuse me. Whereabouts is your bathroom? Like, come on, mate. This is six houses in a row. Like, <laughs> you're just uh, taking mate, the piss now, mate. Y- you were just delivering one coffee table, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, you, and you've absolutely uh, like destroyed my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fuck hell. Uh, it took you two minutes to bring yeah, the coffee yeah, table yeah, in, and you're on, on the shitter for fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I just, yeah, I just, we got charged for half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I just ordered it. I just ordered a pizza, man. Like, <laughs> you've been in the bathroom for fifteen minutes. Uh, like, fuck, you've been it's you've, gold. Meanwhile, you've had that's, ha- that's had a, a really shower like, brush your teeth. <laughs> that's a really intense feeling. Speaking of feelings of like you know highs or you know really intense experiences without having a drug, without having drugs, when you. So need to shit that you're like, I'm gonna shit my pants, and oh, <laughs> everybody's yeah. been there before. It's this <laughs> frantic energy <laughs> where yeah. you are looking for somewhere to go, like it's basic human human <laughs> instinct. Yeah. Uh, I remember yeah. this one time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like driving up the Sunshine Coast from Brisbane, early morning surf spec, like left at dawn, and so I've woken up from a big night, like like without any breakfast, so like my stomach's just been processing or whatever and i think i had a protein shake as we were driving up <laughs> and we've rocked up to cotton tree at maruchi door and just as soon as i like got out of the seated position and like standing up in next to the car i don't know i can't remember <laughs> if i had a stomach bug at the time or something but all of a sudden i needed to shit like so badly and it was like a, a pretty packed like sunrise morning like heaps of surfers out and nowhere to go man because it's that big like main drag that goes down from alex headland so i had to literally just like ditch the boys at the car and sprint up into the sand dune like ended up shitting all through my pants like as i was running and like had, had to like had to like empty my dax in the top of the sand dunes and then sort of like put these <laughs> pants back on and shuffle back to the car and then like kind of work out how i'm going to get into the water to like 
clean off and just put those pants straight in the bin. But just, you know. <laughs> I'd have like, just worn them in the water. Like, yeah. fucking. Like, yeah. I may have. It was so long ago and I think I've probably blacked that memory out <laughs> until now yeah. somewhat. I've, 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 I've suppressed uh, it fucking before. Thank, thank God it was just like a group of close boys that I, I didn't even really like, you know, yeah. give a shit about. Oh, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> I remember a similar sort of deal. I was driving back from Caloundra with um, another ma- mate in the car and we were just sort of like merging onto like a Caloundra way sort of thing. And, you know, just got that that hit where I just had to pretty much like pull over on the side of the road and then just like ran off into the bushes <laughs> and, and like did a shit and then like came back. And then like uh, my mate was like sitting in the car laughing because like we were still sort of like r- like half into the lane sort of thing. Like <laughs> just oh. parked on the side of the road and he hadn't even bothered to move the car. Like I'd obviously yeah. just been in such a rush that, you know, all this will do. Like I've got to get out of here. Like. No hazard oh. lights on, no nothing. <laughs> like, oh, the old, the, the old sphincter, man. It's an oh, incredible oh, part of the body, you know. Yeah. It yeah. can distinguish between what's a what's a fart and what's a <laughs> piece of feces. Dude, I remember you know? like yeah. it, it'll like you know hold something in while letting something out. It's pretty pretty oh, intelligent. I, I had um <laughs> checked out of a hotel on Lambongan over in Bali, and there's like an enormous <laughs> set of stairs there. You catch you catch a ferry from the mainland of Bali o- o- over to this island. Enormous fucking hill that you climb up. So all these sets of stairs, check out, lock the door, walking down the stairs. And I'm like, oh, no, like, this is bad. And only wearing boardies, free balling as well. Like, just fucking <laughs> shit, just all down the leg straight up. Like, did it, did, did like, <laughs> farted? And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> like, a couple more steps. And I'm like, you yeah, know, like, just, as you say, it just relaxed in it and out it came. Oh, all the way, uh, like, down my leg. I'm quickly, like, get to basically the concierge. No, but like my missus at the time was walking in front of me. I'm like trying to keep it, keep it quiet. Oh, no. Go to the concierge, and the, the ferry's leaving in like ten minutes. And she's oh, the, ne- the ne- next really? the next one's in two and a half hours or whatever, really? like, whatever it turned out to be. And um, I'm like, is there a uh, is there a public bathroom or like a shower d- a d- <laughs> down here? And they're like, uh, and I'm like, oh, went, went off into this like re- restroom, and they had like. It was almost like a disabled toilet and they had a shower on there and I'm like... Oh, oh this half is like your a, luck. Yeah. Or maybe you went into a, like a room at the bottom or whatever well, it was. Most of the had, toilets had, in, in Southeast Asia have those yeah, uh, like bidet it, things. D- yeah. d- like it was, I was able to like to rinse down and uh, <laughs> the absolute shit can I am just left my body <laughs> like fucking <laughs> folded up in the corner of the room. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like that's, my, what that's, else that's, are you going to do? That's the yeah. universal yeah. symbol for yeah. somebody <laughs> shit their pants. <laughs> Sorry. Is a pair of undies in a bin. Yeah. There's no other reason if you go into a public toilet and it's like, oh, there's a pair of jocks. <laughs> oh, fuck. Somebody's thrown out a perfectly good pair of jocks. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wash these up. These are just <laughs> <laughs> like, pick it up and chase the last guy oh. that was in there out of the room. Oh. Mate, you left something there. <laughs> you left your jocks behind. <laughs> Mate, oh get him. Oi, mate. <laughs> mate. Don't forget these. Chase yeah. him out of the mall. Uh, Fuck. Uh, 300 metres down the beach. Fucking missing. What happened? Yeah. What happened? Yeah. I want to knock this through the window of your car while you're driving off. Like, oh, oh, shit. Holy shit. <laughs> no, 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 that's all right. Leave them there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing I've seen with shit, man, is a mate. Uh, when we were about 16, went to the shops. This is shat- really gone down the He shattered a McDonald's cup. He shattered a McDonald's cup. And then a cunt uh. went in the fucking toilet cubicle next to him. He leant up over the top of the toilet cubicle and flicked the cup of shit all over this guy's oh. head. <laughs> we were like, we were 16 years old or some shit and just, we just ran out of the fucking thing. Oh. This guy chased us and shit like that. Fuck. <laughs> As you would. I saw it. I saw it. That's my shit story. That's my shit story. I saw a buddy of mine like when we were sort of, um, when we were 18 or something, <laughs> we were pretty close to that, shit in a cup and throw it like at, Someone's door as if we were egging the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd love to hear who that was off air. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. It's her initials. Like. Uh, <laughs> isn't it crazy? Like the you know fucking development of a human being. Fucking those those crazy formative years where you basically just like you have no idea as a kid. You know, you just like as a teenager, you're constantly changing and just going through this crazy process of. Maturation or or, or yeah, whatever yeah. you know, like and fuck, it's 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 so wild. Like you're obviously raising kids now, like to see, oh, you, I see, you, it you see that happen, now, and, yeah. and it's like fuck, you don't really realize it when you're in it. You just like you're nah. constantly trying to figure your way out. Not still doing it now, exactly. Not that you get to thirty and you've you got don't to figure have time, it out, man. It's just the way. Yeah, the learn. The sooner you can learn, 
the real important things, I think. Like, I'll fucking, my kids when they're teenagers, I want to teach them about, like, that cognitive shit that I learnt, like, thoughts, feelings, actions, mm, behaviours, mm. whatever that is, you know, like, that shit, that shit, that's what it is, that's what the makeup of your brain is and how you work, so, if you can get kids, teach them that shit, mm. like, cognitive behavioural sort of therapy stuff and teach them about choices and, and shit like that, instead of fucking, I don't know, can't, don't teach them science and maths, but, you know, like... Chuck that in Teach there as well. About Chuck that in there yeah. as well, you know, like that, that stuff as well. Like early teenage to through to teenage years, like every year sort of yeah. back up on it. Because that's the most important shit. That's what made me realise and, and like it's how it's how you operate, man, as a human is that that model, you know. So that's what I learned from all that sort of shit. And I think that's what kids need to you know, sort of try you gotta try and instill in your kids, you know. Mm. That's what, and it's it's fucking hard. It's hard raising kids. Like it, it's just a learning process. We just we enjoy it, and then we problem solve. When we're doing all right. Our kids are. Oh, my daughters are really, really cute. Like really, really, really cute. Sounds <laughs> like a, they're yeah. like Instagram models. <laughs> they are. Dude. They get all free clothes and shit. Like my missus takes Sick. photos. She loves that's her thing. You know, like Sick. yeah, she's in. She's in deep in the um. I don't, I don't know what it's called. Social media. Yeah, Insta, Insta mum world. Yeah, mm, call it. plenty yeah. of that going on. Yeah, right she's on. fucking good at it too, dude. She takes really good photos of them and shit. She's good with the camera and the girls look pretty cool, you know. Like, oh, <laughs> awesome. I see some photos, I'm like, oh, they're pretty fucking cute, aren't they? Mate, it sounds like you have a real awesome. winner with uh, the missus. Yeah, dude, she must yeah. be an ab- yeah. Sounds like an absolute rock. Yeah, mm. man, she's fucking solid. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You that's know? awesome. And, and same thing, like our relationship is, isn't perfect. We fuck work through things. We talk no, through things. things. Yeah. And it's we just make changes, you know, no, and we no. just learn. It's a relationship, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's fucking, it's fun. It's really fun, you know, like just mm. figuring out life with someone, you know. It's pretty cool. Awesome. Like, yeah, I like it. That's yeah. what it's about, man. Yeah. Well, look, we really, really appreciate ha- you ha- coming on, man, yeah. like um, yeah. coming up from the Goldie and, and giving us your time and stuff like that. So, yeah, sweet, um, man. So yeah, definitely it's we'll have good. to ha- yeah. have to get you back when, um, when, yeah. when, when you're down the line a bit more and fucking sure. for, for some more. People, but um, we'll uh, wrap it there, eh, boys? Yeah, that's fuck sweet. yeah, man. And I Thanks. think that's a really good message to finish on, man. It's yeah. fucking, it's a really interesting story that you've got, and it's it's been yeah. fucking a pleasure to to yeah. have it out with you and, and and hear it. So yeah, fucking keep doing your thing, man. I'm sure we'll fucking we'll see you in uh, in the bright lights pretty soon. Fucking Mitch Gagnon, where you at? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get yeah. 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 up, Mitch. Line that coming. motherfucker up. <laughs> <laughs> Make Come it on, happen. Dana. Make it happen, Dana. Dana. Where you at? Dana, Sean, tell me. Come yeah. on. Fuck yeah. Lovely hey, to meet you, Sean. Yeah, yeah. thanks, dude. All thanks, right. boys. Peace, fam. We'll talk soon. Later.